Welcome to our midweek service. We thank God for you. We are excited. We are back to continue with the journey of faith. Are you ready for the service? Are you ready for the grace that the Lord is reserved for you today? Yes, every sermon brings with it a certain allocation a certain ration of grace that every partaker of that sermon is going to receive. We are going to uh, have uh, this service to learn more about Christ, more about God in the John series. We are here to preach and teach the John series, part 22, be subtitled Introducing the Samaritan Woman. But before we go there, I want us to look at something that the Lord has uh, released and enlightened me about. So in, John, in Job 17, Job was speaking and he said, My breath is corrupt in verse 1 up to verse 4. My breath is corrupt. My days are extinct. The graves are ready for me. Um, it's a very exciting scripture because there is not a single person who can get buried in more than one grave. My breath is corrupt. My days are extinct. The graves are ready for me. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this was clearly Job speaking the words of Christ, which he was going to fulfill when he came to die for our sins. So there are two connotations to which graves were ready for him. Mm -hmm. The first connotation is the graves of those that he was coming to raise from the dead. Mm -hmm. They were ready to listen to his voice mm -hmm. as he spoke in John 7, 7 11, from, uh, from verse 37, in the wake of the Lazarus death, the graves heard his voice mm -hmm. when he shouted and cried aloud, Lazarus, come forth. Mm -hmm. But we also want to read verse 2 of Job 17. Are, are, they they not, not, are they not mockers with me, and that not mine I continue in their provocation? Are they not mockers with me, mm -hmm. and doth not mine I continue in their provocation? Yeah. So the Lord was actually speaking there and saying, mm -hmm. I do have mockers around. Yes. Mockers are with me, verse 3. Lay down now, put me in a surety with thee. Why is he that will strike hands with me? Who is he that will strike hands with me? Mm -hmm. Lay down now, put me in a surety with thee. Yes. Who is he that will strike hands with me? For thou hast hid their heart from understanding. Therefore shalt thou not exalt them. Yes, so in verse 3, I wanted to share with you something that is very exciting. The Lord spake and said, put me in a surety with thee. When you are in Christ, when you are in God, God becomes your surety. God becomes your insurance. God becomes your guarantee of your fate. When you are saved, you have now God as the guarantor of your fate. The fate of your soul is now guaranteed in God. But then he, he started again in verse 4 to talk about mockers who are with him. He said, well, these mockers, thou hast hid their heart from understanding. I just found it very exciting and interesting that 
when when the Lord talked about those who do not understand, he actually alleged that their lack of understanding is because God hid their heart from understanding. It is not understanding that is hid from them, but their heart is hid from understanding, which means understanding is available. Mm -hmm. Understanding is there. It has been provided. But the heart that should understand is missing. The heart is hid. Thou hast hid their heart from understanding. Just think about it. If God has hid your heart from understanding, mm -hmm. who on this earth can unearth and, and uncover your heart to understand? Kanamara kaviga moyo wako kuti moyo wako ure jeku nzuisisa. Ndiya anunga sadarare kudadari tsana na mangari kushikira aburi tsa moyo wako pa wakavigwa osanga nisa moyo wako ni understanding. God is making sure some people are going to always be going the opposite direction of understanding. When understanding goes north, your heart will be going south. When understanding goes south, your heart will be going east. There is no hope and no chance that your heart and understanding are going to sit in the same room. It is God's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. In our eyes. So this is amazing. In the book of Job, chapter 11, another amazing scripture from verse 7. This was his offer speaking. What did he say? Can thou by, under, by searching find out God? Can you by searching find out God? Can thou find out the, the Almighty unto perfection? Who can start finding out and discover the Almighty God until they are perfected? Yes. It is as high as heaven. Yes, what yes. What can thou do? Yes. Deeper than hell. What can thou know? So, finding God, searching out God is as high as heaven. Yes. And as deeper as, is, it is deeper than hell. Mm -hmm. Yes. What canst thou know? Mm -hmm. How long is this difference and distance? <laughs> it's heaven itself. Verse 9, read verse 9. The measure thereof is longer than the earth and, bo and broader than the sea. The length of the distance between you and discovering God mm -hmm. is longer than the earth itself and wider than the sea. Yes. If you try to search out God, the, the, the chances of you finding out God, it, it is wider than the, the breadth and the width of the sea. Kutanga kutchaga mangari, kutinduda kunjera, kutikandawa na mangari. Munar kuviringa na no zekuti nika ya kariba shakadi. Ano shika pa ano peza kuviringa na nezo. Iwosa tuwa wada kuzugisa munga. Searching out God is further from men than the distance that measures the length of the earth. The distance that measures the breadth of the sea is shorter than the distance one must cover to search out and find God. That's how difficult it is. Is this not a bet that God is making? Those who are looking for me, let's see how far you are willing to go in search of me. Mm -hmm. Go and search out. Let's meet after you have done and finished your adventure and tell me how much of me you have found, you have searched out and managed to discover. By ourselves, we have zero chance of learning about God. We are only going to learn if God is willing yes. to reveal himself to us. Yes. That revelation of God can only come from God. Mm -hmm. God himself is the only entity that can reveal himself to us yes. and teach us about himself. When we have finally found the mystery of God revealed to us, we must understand that we could not have covered the width of the sea 
-hmm. or the length of the earth. Mm -hmm. No one can stand up and say, well, I managed to, to run that distance. The length of the earth, I've covered it. I searched out to God and I, I managed to go beyond the length of the earth and the breadth of the sea. I found him. This is where I have gone. So you must praise me for searching out and finding God. Read again verse 7 and 8. Can thou by searching find out God? Can you search out and find God? Can thou find out the Almighty unto perfection? Can you? It is high as heaven. Read again. It is as high as heaven. But it is as high as heaven. Yes. Yes. What canst thou do deeper than hell? Oh. What canst thou know? Discovering God requires you to search deeper mm. than hell. Mm. Yes. Which means if we are able to discover the deep things of God, yes. we have gone deeper than where hell is. Yes. And if we come across a man who says I was in hell, yeah. we should tell that man, you were too shallow. We have gone deeper than you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but not by our ability. Oh, yes. God has given us ability to go deeper. Mm -hmm. Because according to 1 Corinthians 2.10, for the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. Yes. So if we understand the deep things of God, mm -hmm. it means we have gone deeper yes. than hell. Yes. When hell meets us, hell should salute. <laughs> These ones are deeper than us. You don't want to book with your head at this. He should not think of the company at this. Neguda Guinea Shazama. Yes. The mystery of Christ is deeper than hell. Yes. yes. Of course, the word heaven there is not referring to the dwelling place of God. Mm -hmm. Um, only it is also referring to the celestial environment. Mm -hmm. See, so um, I want us to appreciate the Lord's granted grace. Granted grace. It is by a special grant, a special permission that you and I, we can sit down to teach each other the things that are deeper than hell, mm. the things that are wider than the sea, yes. longer than the earth, the things that we are learning, they, they expose the very posture mm. of the throne of God itself, the nature and the manner of the Almighty God. By searching, we could never have discovered these things. We could never have dug it out and excavated it and exposed it and say, this is our uh, metallurgical discoveries. Mm -hmm. We have been mining and mining and mining and mining. We have been drilling and rigging drills. This is the treasure we have found under the earth, the, the, the mystery of God. Only by a special permission, can men discover God? In Matthew chapter 11, verse 27, um, it is clear. Let's read it from verse 25 to 27. Our Lord spoke about this and he revealed it very clearly that only when he is willing to reveal it to us yes. shall we have access to the things of God, the mystery of God which we can never search out by our own de de enterprise. We can't, we can't discover God yes. by our own psychology, by our own philosophy, by scientific methods and experiments. Yes. We could never discover God. Yes. At, yes. That time, at that time, Jesus answered and said, What did he say? I thank thee, O Father. I thank you, O Father. Lord of heaven and Lord earth. Lord of heaven and earth. Because thou hast hid these things from the wise. You have hid these things from the wise. And prudent. And the prudent. And he has revealed them unto babes. Who has revealed it? God. God, God has revealed it unto babies. Yes. God hid these things 
from the common wise we people and the common prudent people of this world. Yes. He desi decided to reveal them to the little ones. Who are the little ones? The babies. Yes. The babies are the babies of the kingdom of God. Yes. Not the diaper day babies of our world. Mm -hmm. The diaper babies of our homes. The, the infants. The one year old, the eight months old, the two years old. These are not the babies that God the Father has revealed these things to. Verse 26. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. So God found it pleasing him. It's pleasant to God to reveal these things to the babies. 27. All things are delivered unto me of my father. All things are delivered unto Christ by his father. And no man knoweth the son. No man knows the son. But the father. Only the father knows the son. Neither knoweth any man the father. No man knows the father. Save the son. Only the son knows the father. And he to whomsoever the son will reveal him. Anyone else who shall know the father and the son. It is only and exclusively. When and if the son is willing to reveal himself to such a man. Yes. The word will there is addressing willingness, desire. Mm -hmm. And he to whomsoever the son is desirous to reveal to him. So the desire to know God may be in you. But that is not a gateway to knowing God. Only when the son is desiring to reveal himself to you, are you going to have that knowledge. You can desire to know God. You can express that desire by giving offerings, by going to the prayer mountains, by spending time doing all night prayer videos. That is not going to reveal the God of heaven to you. That is not going to attract the revelation of Christ to you. God is not attracted by whatever effort you may commit to put to, to get these revelations. God is attracted by the will of his son. Is Christ willing to reveal himself to you? Well, when you sit in such a congregation as ours, you are going to discover the willingness of Christ to reveal himself to us. Yes. We are the people that can confidently say, yes, the Lord Jesus Christ is willing to reveal himself to us. He expressed his willingness when he called me to this ministry. Yes. And if you listen to our messages, you can tell the unquestionable truth and reality that our Lord is willing. When our Apostle Paul wrote, the book of Ephesians in chapter 3, he told them, my knowledge of the mystery of Christ is undoubted. Yes. You can prove it by reading my small letters to you, my few words to you. You can tell, you can judge, you can comment, you can speak to this issue. It is true. The Lord revealed his mystery to Christ. Uh, and Christ revealed this mystery to the apostles. So Apostle John said the revelation of God, which God gave to Christ, and Christ revealed it to his servant, John, through the angel. And that's what Apostle Paul says in Ephesians 3. Let's read verse 1 to 5. Yes. For this cause, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if you have been of the dispensation. If you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, what? How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in a few words. Wherein, that's the most important part in verse number, in oh. verse number five. Where is verse number four? Whereby when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. So, my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, 
you can tell, you can understand by listening to my sermons. So we read Job 11 and we also read Job 17, 1 to 4. Mm-hmm. Whereas others are, others are, are hidden from understanding. Mm-hmm. We have received the understanding. Mm-hmm. What a blessing. What a privilege. What an honor. It's not everyone who shall understand. According to Matthew 11, yes. God has hid these things from the wise and from the prudent. But he has revealed them unto babies, for so it seemed good in his sight. So when we get such understanding, we mustn't take it for granted. Others are groaning in pain. They have hurt themselves as they tried to get this understanding. But their hearts are hidden from this understanding. They can never find out God by searching. These things are far away further than the length of the earth and wider than the breadth of the sea. It is deeper than hell itself. What a privilege yes. that we are here to learn such things. We must find ourselves a very privileged generation. You must take yourself to be a highly blessed child of God. You can't ask God to bless you. You are already blessed. You can't ask God and say, why does God not want to bless me? God has already blessed you. God has given you a blessing that whatever happens to this world, it shall never be, um, it, you shall never lose it. We can have an economic depression, but the economic depression can, can, can take away the value of your assets the value of your car, the value of your house. You see, you can lose your job because of an economic depression. But an economic depression will never have the ability to devalue the the, the treasure, the spiritual wealth that we are loading into your soul every time we preach the word of God. Yes, the local currency can lose value against the U.S. dollar. But the currency of grace that comes with these mysteries shall never be affected by the New York, New York Stock Exchange. People can steal from you. You can lose your money. They can break into your house and steal your, your TV set. They can steal your assets, your belongings. But they can never steal away the wealth that is hidden in your spirit, the word of God. We have something that even when you are divorced, the man or the woman who has divorced you can break away your marriage, but they can't break your spirit because you are fortified. According to Job 17, God is the surety mm-hmm. of your future in the faith. Yes. For thou hast hid Uh, It's verse 3. Lay down now. Put me in a surety with Mm -hmm. thee. If I am with you, I have surety. I remember uh, Genesis 15 when the Lord God spoke to Abraham and said, Fear not, Abraham. I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Mm -hmm. What a scripture. God is your surety. Mm -hmm. When God says, I am your shield, Mm-hmm. He is saying, before anything hates you, it must dethrone me first. God must lose his position as God mm-hmm. before anything happens to your soul. <laughs> he is the guarantor of your salvation. It's amazing yes. that you have such a blessing. There are people who are praying right now every day, asking God, where is he? They are asking God, I need another touch once again. We are not that kind of a generation. We don't sing, I need your touch once again. We have never been forsaken. We are Biula. You see, we are not forsaken. Mm -hmm. You see, these are very, very exciting scriptures. If you look at Ephesians 1 verse 3, it says God has blessed us 
with all spiritual blessings mm -hmm. in heavenly places in Christ. Mm -hmm. Not some spiritual blessings, but all spiritual blessings. Yes. He didn't even leave one blessing that requires you to pay money, to sow a seed, to give to church before that blessing manifests. Yes. Christ is the epitome of all the blessings. Christ is the personification of all those blessings. Christ is the justification and the basis for all those blessings to come to you. God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. So I want us to pray and appreciate what God has given to us. When people threaten you, there's something they can never threaten you with. They can threaten to take away your salvation. They can threaten to kill your body, but they have no power to kill your spirit. In Matthew 10, the Lord said, Fear not them that, kill the, that, that destroy the body, but fear him that is the power to destroy both the body and the soul in hell. That's where we are very comfortable. That's where we are very bold and confident. People can, let, can say to me, I will kill you. And we will correct them and say, excuse me, point of correction. You have no capacity to kill me. You can only kill my body. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are not very timid. We are confident. Because we have received something that no man has a capacity to steal away from us. We can be hurt in the flesh. We can be disappointed in the flesh. Yes. We can cry and sorrow in the flesh. Yes. But we don't do so as those without hope. Mm -hmm. We have that. We cry, we sorrow, we are disappointed, we hurt. With a certain restraint. Yes. There is a certain desperation you shall never see in us. Yes, there is a certain desperation you shall never see in our eyes. Mm -hmm. We are never going to be desperate like those without, with, a, with empty souls, yes. without anything inside of them. You can take everything from me. You can take my children. You can take my house, my cars, my money, my phones. Mm -hmm. But you will see me with the happiness. Yes. Because what I have is not dependent on corruptible wealth. I still have something that robbers will never touch. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm a very, very safe person, safer than the president, who is soldiers who are protecting him with loaded guns day and night. Yes. We are safer than the president. Yes, and I, uh, we, we really want to thank God for that. Yes. Because what we are hearing, especially when we read from the uh, book of Job, even the distances that separates people from discovering the mysteries of the Lord. It's something that I said to myself, oh no, we, we never thought of that difference. It's wide. It's a vast distance. It's a vast mm -hmm. distance. It's, it's an impossible distance. It is yes. indeed. Even it's... if you want to hunt for game, <laughs> if you are told you are going to meet kudus yes. after <laughs> finishing the length, Yes. of the earth. Yes. You will not go to hunt. You won't. You will say it's useless. Yes. I will it's... never go and try to hunt. Yes. And this other thing of uh, our Lord revealing this to us uh, 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 made me relate it even, even at the early stages when we hear about the birth of our Lord Jesus. Um, uh, we hear that the shepherds, when they were out there with their flock, they said in Luke chapter 2, verse 15, they said, And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. Yes, yes. Which means there were several or even many shepherds but it was never made known to them. Not every shepherd, Not every shepherd. was told about the birth of, yes. the, of the king of kings. Not everyone. Only these three yes. wise men yes. were given such insight. Yes. 
And this is where people get angry now. Yes. They say you want to monopolize the gospel. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. How can you but say it, only you have this revelation? What about been, us? It has not been no, made known to you. Our answer to them <laughs> yes. is that your hearts yes. have been hid from, from understanding, understanding. Yes, yes, according to Job 17. Yes, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, let us pray, Lord Jesus, we honor you for today, for the word which we are going to hear. We want to appreciate your grace because you have made it possible that is why it is it is to find out and to search out God. It's an impossible task. And yet it pleased you to reveal yourself unto us. We find ourselves a highly privileged generation. We believe and we understand why you said we are a chosen generation, a holy nation, a peculiar people, a royal priesthood. It is because you have found pleasure in revealing yourself to us, which is something that you could only do if it pleases you. We thank you, Lord God of heaven, for it pleased you to reveal yourself unto us, the little babes, after having hid these things from the wise and the prudent, because it seemed good in thy sight. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you because we understand there are not many whose hearts are granted such understanding. We have received an unshakable kingdom. We have received a hope that is not temporary. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word shall never pass away. All flesh shall melt and wither as grass withers, as the flower melts and wilts, but your word is going to abide forever. We thank you, Lord, for giving us a chance to immortality by granting that we may receive the immortal word into our souls. We appreciate you for that grace, and we continue to celebrate your suffering on the cross it was not in vain. We are the evidence of the fruitfulness of your sacrifice. We are here to show the, the fruits of your sweat and your blood. The people that believe the word, they attest that you didn't die for nothing. You died for people to find God, to become children, to be given imputed righteousness. We are such people and many others who lived before us and who shall live after us. We thank you for this grace. Amen. So let us look at John chapter 4. We are going to read verse number 1 to verse number 4. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John. Though Jesus himself baptized not but his disciples, he left Judea and departed again into Galilee. And he must needs go through Samaria. Yes, Brother Nelson. Yes, Samaria. Jacqueline says, The treasure in my spirit no one or situation can take from me. Thank you, Lord, for being my guarantee. Surety. <laughs> The treasure is found it, in Christ. Yes, yeah, so if you go to a bank to apply for a loan or a mortgage, mm -hmm. they will ask you for collateral. Mm -hmm. They will ask you for guarantors. Mm -hmm. What happens if you fail to service your loan? Mm -hmm. Who shall we ask for this account to be settled? Mm -hmm. You are going to appoint your friend, mm -hmm. your brother, your husband, your wife mm -hmm. to be the guarantor of your, of your loan. Mm -hmm. According to the book of Job 17, verse 3, mm -hmm. God is the guarantor 
yes. of our faith. Oh, mm. yes. And what what a refreshing reality. Unazaka na ukauzi gonzi munu ndiye garantua wako. Kana kakutaura raf. Uno kuna ungota and awite muromo. Ano nushikanzu risa kutengi. Ukape sila usisina pekuga. Yes, yes, yes. I can see believers are here with us. Stella says greetings are my. Pastor Rengu and Brother Nelson. Cheki says amen. Susan says greetings. Andrew says amen. Tafara says greetings. Catherine, Constance, Victor, Randy, Erisha. Tinashe says thank you Lord for loving us in the real family. Sikla giriku vira. Edson says ishe makavomura moe wangu. Kamakanga makaoviga kutimu jirati ze kwa ndiri. Makaita enyu Lord Jesus. I'm grateful and thank you. And thank you for Michael. Pamela says reminds me of the temptations admonition when the issue of the sea was being taught. Simba says greetings. Varaizo greetings. Ana mama. George Nikazawanda says Amen. Albert says we are addicted to John series am I we thank God to be here. Evelyn Masinga says greetings. Tindo says Tiripo Patafra. Sandra Kudzanai, Emmanuel Evans Iso. Sani says Tirimo Mgarava. NS Madulini, Mesim Fumbati, Elasto says we where else can we go? Ashley Chidimu, Tapiwa, Tagarirofa, and many others. And many others. How are you? How are you? How are you? We are happy you are here. Yes, so when we introduced the Samaritan woman on Sunday, we focused on the phrase, he must needs go through Samaria. Yes. And as we said earlier on, our focus is to give you a better understanding of this situation. And we introduced uh, the mountain. Yes. Brother Nelson, <laughs> you remember the mountain? Very interesting. We introduced the mountain which the woman referred to. Yes. In verse 20. Yes. Yes. That uh, this uh, mountain, it was actually uh, Mount Gerizim. And then we had to learn a lot around Mount Gerizim when we opened that it happened when the children of Israel were moving out of uh, Egypt into uh, the promised land, they actually had made, been given a commandment by Moses yes. that um, at Mount Gerizim they were going to be blessed and Mount Ebal they were, they were then to be cursed. So the woman said, mm -hmm. um, okay, when we, let's, let's read it, let's read it probably up to, hey, the, the scripture is very long. <laughs> But let's read it. Let's read it up to verse 24. So, Pastor, you read from verse 1 to verse 12. Okay. And Brother Nelson will read verse 13 to verse 24. Yes. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, though Jesus himself baptized not but his disciples, he left Judea and departed again into Galilee, and he must needs go through Samaria. There comes he to a city of Samaria, which is called Saika, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, Set thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. There comes a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. Uh, for his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it? That thou he being that thou being a Jew asks asks of me which yes. am a woman of Samaria for the Jews 
they have no dealings with the Samaritans. Mm-hmm. Jesus answered and said unto him, If thou knewest the gift of God and who it is that says to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Yes. Then the, wom- the woman said unto him, Say, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto him, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst again. And whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up and into everlasting life. The woman saith unto him, Say, Give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Jesus saith unto her, Go, call thy husband, and come hither. And the woman answered and said, I had no husband. I have no I, husband. I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. In that sayest thou truly. The woman said unto him, Say, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain. And you say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, woman, believe me, the hour cometh when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship, you know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is when when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, there are things that I want us to just have a perspective about. According to John chapter 4, the Lord was going to Galilee, but he wanted to pass through Samaria. So I want us to um, look at the round trip that our Lord made for us to have a pictorial understanding of what happened. There is a, a document that I want us to see to just have a perspective of what happened. The Lord came from Galilee to Judea, and then the Lord was going back to Galilee. So, um, in John chapter 4, the phrase is, um, he left Judea and departed again into Galilee, and he must needs go through Samaria. So in order for you to understand um, the, 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 the phrase, he must needs go through Samaria, it means the road that our Lord had used to come to Judea was not going to be the same road uh, to come to Judea. It was not going to be the same road which he was going to use to go back to Galilee. So if you look at the document on the screen, there is a black thick line with arrows. There is an arrow that is going to Jerusalem and there is an arrow that is going to Galilee. The arrow that is coming to Jerusalem, it passes through Tiberias, Gadaria or Gadara, Psychopolis, Salim, and, and it goes through Bethabara. And it comes through Jericho and it goes into Bethany. 
But the arrow that goes to Galilee does not use that route. It goes through Gerizim, Samaria, and then it goes through Genos, Mount Tabor, and back into Galilee, which is also known as Tiberias. Now, to just show you that this, this document is correct, I would want us to go to John chapter 1, verse number um, 28 and 29. These, these things were done in Beth Abara. Beyond, Abara, yes. beyond Jordan. Beyond Jordan, yes. Where John was baptizing. Where John was baptizing. The next day John seeth Jesus coming. The next day John sees Jesus coming. Coming unto him and saith, Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. You see? Yes. So this is just um, a scripture that shows you the route that the Lord had used. Yes. When he came to be baptized of John, yes. he used this route that goes through Skythopolis, Salim, and then Bethabara, Jericho, and Bethany into Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So we, we talked about it and we then saw that our Lord came to Jerusalem in John chapter 2. When we look at verse 13 up to the end of John chapter 2, in John chapter 3, the Lord was still in Judea, in Jerusalem. It is in John chapter 4 that our Lord decided to go back to Galilee. But he then chose to use a different route. So this is a real map, a real world map where the land is. This is not just um, a, 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 um, a drawing of the schematics from um, an ordinary um, geographical perspective, but this is actually the real world schematics from um, an architectural point of view. This is how the land actually looks like in the real world. As of this day. But we also wanted to show you um, the, the map of Israel and Palestine. So that you may understand, of course, Palestine did not exist then. It is much, much a, a contemporary phenomenon. Palestine is the creature of the Arab world, which is trying to displace the Jews with Muslims. Because the Muslims believe that since they are descendants of Ishmael, who was a bastard son of Abraham, they have a more legitimate claim to stay in Israel than the sons of Isaac. Because Ishmael, according to the Muslims, was the apparent, which is religious rhetoric and propaganda. But prior to the creation of the state of Palestine by the United Nations, by the United Nations under the influence of the United States government after a long time um, where Israel was not a, 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 an independent state, which happened in 1948. There was no Palestine. Before then, we, we have just a state of Israel um, but we want to show you the map of Palestine. This is the map of Palestine. What you are seeing in gray there, that's Israel. What you are seeing in green is Palestine. Of course, towards the sea, um, you can actually see the Gaza Strip, which has always been a, a bone of contention between Egypt and Israel and Palestine. There is a very small portion in green there which is also part of the state of Palestine. But what you see there written, West Bank, is what is actually part of the state of Palestine. As we can see, Jerusalem, part of Jerusalem, is in what is called Palestine. But if you look at the map we showed you earlier on, 
you can picture what we have showed you earlier on with what we are showing you now. And you can see what we used, what we showed you is um, the, 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 the land of Samaria is today within the boundaries of the state of Palestine. This is why we are showing you the West Bank um, with all these things that we are showing you now. The state of Israel. If you look at the map, there is Anaba, Anabta, Anabta Kabatia, Taib, and Jericho. Jerusalem is in the Mideast. You see Ephrat, you see Daria, um, and then, of course, the purple, which is looking uh, in, in, my, in my document, it's purple, but on the screen it's looking like it is black. It is, it is gray. That's the, the, the state of Palestine there. So there is a lot of uh, history which we don't need to talk about today. Um, what else should I show you? I want to show you the mountains. And I want to warn you that some of these um, so-called mountains, they are not really mountains when we compare them with the Nepal, the Himalayas, and Mount Everest. They are hilly areas, like, for example, Mount of Olives. It's not really a mountain. Um, but of course, if we use a general geographical definition of a mountain, we can describe them as mountains. What we have there, we have Mount Tabo in Galilee, we have Mount Gilboa, of course. Um, we hear David talking about Mount Gilboa in Second uh, Samuel chapter 2, in chapter 1. We have Mount Ebal and Mount Gerizim. As you can see there, we talked about Deuteronomy 27. And when we talked about it, Deuteronomy 27, we, we, we said um, God had instructed Israel to go on to these two mountains so that these two mountains could be the place where Israel is blessed. You remember that? Yes, um, yes. Brother Nelson? Yes. But maybe for the sake of time, let's mm -hmm. read Deuteronomy 11:29. Mm -hmm. It's a simpler scripture why these two mountains are close to each other like that. As you can see, uh, yes. put, put that map up. We still want to see it. Mount Ebal and Mount Gerizim are overlooking each other. Mm -hmm. They are facing each other. God talked mm -hmm. about these two mountains in Deuteronomy 27, 28, and as well as Deuteronomy 11, 29, read 29. Yes, and it shall come to pass. What shall come to pass? When the Lord thy God hath brought thee into, in unto the land, whither thou goest to possess it, that thou shalt put the blessing upon Mount Gerizim, and the curse upon Mount Ebal. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. So, why are we talking about Mount Gerizim? <laughs> and Mount, Gebel, Mount Ebal. It is because in John chapter 4, when our Lord encountered the Samaritan woman, yes. the woman spoke in verse 20 and said, I perceive in that you are a prophet our fathers worshipped in this mountain. Yes. And you say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Mm -hmm. So in our quest to understand the Samaritan woman, we have to understand who were the Samaritans. Yes. Um, scholars and geographers are saying, Samaritans are now very few. Some are saying they, le they are less than 10,000. Those are um, things that we have no ability to verify because they are of no spiritual significance. Mm -hmm. um, we just want to define the Samaritans. Mm -hmm. Their population is irrelevant. So God spoke to Moses, pastor, and said, when you are entering the promised land, mm -hmm. you must go on to these two mountains. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. Mm -hmm. Six of the tribes of Israel mm -hmm. are going to stand on Mount Ebal. Mm -hmm. And six mm -hmm. tribes mm -hmm. are going to be standing on Mount Gerizim. Yes. And those who are standing on Mount Ebal must pronounce a case. Mm -hmm. The case is in Deuteronomy 27. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Those who are on Mount Gerizim mm-hmm. are going to pronounce a blessing. Mm-hmm. The blessing is in Deuteronomy 28, mm-hmm. which is so many heretics love. Mm-hmm. Which is uh, these blessings shall overtake thee. Mm-hmm. Blessed shalt thou be when they come in, yes. and yeah. you shall be blessed as you come out. Yes. Your cattle shall be blessed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the food on your table shall be blessed. Mm-hmm. Those so-called is you no know, pastor. Yes. Deuteronomy 28 is actually called the blessing <laughs> chapter <laughs> by those who yes. are confused. <laughs> they do not know yes. that when Mount, when Deuteronomy 28, 28. was proclaimed, yes. Israel was standing mm-hmm. on Mount Gerizim. Yes, that's it. Mm. Mm. So in John chapter 4 verse 20, yes. the Samaritan woman mm. spoke to our Lord. Yes. She said, our yes. fathers yes. worshipped Yes. in this mountain. Mm-hmm. Our Lord had traveled yes. from Jerusalem mm-hmm. where Mount Zion is on that map yes. to go to Samaria mm-hmm. where Mount Gerizim is. Yes. So our Lord left Mount Zion <laughs> to go to, Mount, <laughs> to the area around Mount Gerizim. Mm-hmm. So when the woman yes. said this mountain, mm-hmm. she wasn't referring to a mountain which is 30 kilometers away. Yes. No. no, she was by the foot Yes. Of that okay. mount, yes. yes. <laughs> Why exactly are the Samaritans worshiping mm. in Mount Gerizim? Yes. The answer is in Deuteronomy 11:29. Yes. Mm-hmm. It shall come to pass when the Lord thy God hath brought thee in unto the land whither thou goest to possess it, that thou shalt put the blessing upon Mount Gerizim yes. and the curse upon <laughs> Mount Eba. Yes. Ha. Ah, Mount bless Mount blessing. Mount Gerizim <laughs> is Mount Gerizim. blessing. Mount Iba yes. is Mount Kes. Yes. So the Samaritans whoever they are, we are going to discover them today. Mm-hmm. They worshiped in Mount Gerizim, Gerizim because the scriptures had said Mount Gerizim mm-hmm. is blessed. Yes. God had proclaimed a blessing upon Mount Gerizim. Yes. Let's go back to the map of the round trip that our Lord had made. Mm-hmm. This is the map. Uh, as you can see, instead of using the road that goes through Bethabara, mm-hmm. through Skythopolis, mm-hmm. back to the Gadara land, into Tiberias, the Lord must needs pass through Samaria, Samaria mm-hmm. where <laughs> Mount Gerizim was. Yes. It was necessary mm-hmm. for the Lord to go through um, Samaria. Samaria, yes. Mm-hmm. So, what else can I show you? What else should I show you? Um, can I show you the map that shows Mount Gerizim again? A different, a different document. You can see that one. You can see that one. Mm-hmm. There is Judea where the Lord was. He didn't use the road that passes through Jericho. Mm-hmm. That is where Bethabara is closer to Jericho. Mm-hmm. The Lord went through the green lettered words. Mm-hmm. Judea, Samaria to Galilee. Mm-hmm. But if you then look at the at the um at the round trip map mm-hmm. you can then see that there is a sharp detour to the place called Saika the lord could have gone straight from Jerusalem to Sabaste Samaria mm-hmm. he said he sort of sort of went back to the usual route mm-hmm. to the place called Saika, mm-hmm. according to John chapter 4. Mazona Pastor, yes. there is a, a sharp yes. incursion yes. into the road, mm-hmm. a detour to Saika, mm-hmm. and then from there he went backwards mm-hmm. to go through Samaria. Yes. Mm-hmm. You see? Yes. Mazona, mm-hmm. my own incursion, I get to Neapolis, where you find yes. Neapolis, Gerizim, yes. you find Saika is inside that triangle. 
which means the Lord had to have a detour mm -hmm. from the usual common road. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. So much about the maps. Before we go back to the scriptures, I want us to look at the table of distances mm -hmm. so that we may have a picture of how many kilometers. Last week on Sunday, we talked about the trips from Galilee to Judea, from Judea to Galilee, mm -hmm from Galilee to Judea, from Judea to Galilee. Mm -hmm. Nobody really looked at the actual distances. Mm -hmm. For the avoidance of doubt, I want you to know that um, according to my uh, studies, to go to the mountains of Galilee from Judea, mm -hmm. the distance is as vast as up to 300 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Those who, you, who go there on foot, mm -hmm we will not need less than a week mm -hmm. to arrive mm -hmm. into Galilee. But the shorter uh, 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 hikers or hikers routes mm -hmm. that are used today, mm -hmm. they say it is about 100 kilometers, mm -hmm. 220 kilometers, mm -hmm. depending on what part exactly I of agree. Galilee you are going. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the table, or the list there, the title is Distances from Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the word Galilee yes. on that table, can you see the word Galilee, Brother Nelson? Yes, uh, um, I can see the cities of Galilee, not Galilee specifically. Yes, yes. I can see yes. Capernaum. Uh, yeah. Sea of Galilee. Let's go to the Sea of Galilee. Yes. How many is it? Yes, the Sea of Galilee is 70 miles. About 70 miles yes. north, yes. which is around what? Um, 1.6. One kilometer is one. One mile is 1.6 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Let's just do um, basic math there to find out how much it is. It's 70 miles. Yeah. It's about 112 yeah. kilometers, which is plus or minus 120. Mm -hmm. This is the distance. That the Lord covered every time. <laughs> <laughs> Real life distance. It's not, it's not some approximations or anything. Yes. Real life distances. Yes. From Galilee to Judea, mm -hmm. our Lord walked 120 kilometers. Yes. And from yes. Judea <laughs> to Galilee. And you're saying the, due to the terrain, yes. it would actually take maybe 300 kilometers. Yes, 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 yes. Those who use the straight road, yes. they will need to drive for not less than four hours yes. to, to go to the mountainous area in Galilee. Mm -hmm. But of course, we are just using the, the shortest route, mm -hmm. which uh, you, you don't usually drive. Those are pathways that are used. Mm -hmm. You have about 120 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Now, let's look at Samaria. How many kilometers are there? Yes. From Jerusalem to Samaria. 42 miles north. 42 miles. Yes. How many kilometers? 65. Yes. <laughs> 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 you, you can't believe that our Lord no. actually walked no. this distance is faster. Yes. 42 miles. No. 65 kilometers. The, the intention that you were explaining. Yes, the yes, yes. Between the distance yes. between Saika and even Galilee. Yes, yes. What so what we are talking about is you are talking about a distance mm -hmm. of 120 mm -hmm. kilometers. Mm -hmm. But then he decides to go through Samaria. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he had to travel around um, 65 kilometers. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. If he had avoided going through Saika, our Lord could have avoided about 30 kilometers. Mm -hmm. So our Lord went 30 kilometers, almost yeah. about. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. About 30 kilometers out of his way. Mm -hmm. yes. Just to meet with the Samaritan, Samaritan woman. <laughs> but it doesn't sound real. Yeah. Imagine that we struggle to exercise in the gym. Mm -hmm to run on the treadmill for five kilometers, kilometers. just to keep ourselves fit. Mm -hmm. The God of heaven mm -hmm. traveled 120 <laughs> kilometers. <laughs> 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 
How many trips did he make? 120 to Galilee, 120 to Judea on foot. Yes. And make no mistake about it, he would never arrive on the same day. It's not a journey of the same day. Yes, yes. Those who say, who talk, they say, if you walk non-stop mm -hmm. from Judea to Galilee, mm -hmm. you walk for three days. 24 hours. 24, 24, 24. 24. This is 72 hours. 72 hours. Mm -hmm. If you walk non-stop, mm -hmm. which is impossible. Yes. <laughs> so, when we read John chapter 4, yes. we must understand the distance that our Lord had covered. Mm -hmm for us to understand verse number uh, John chapter 4 mm. verse number 6 yes. now Jacob's well was there mm -hmm. Jesus therefore being tired mm -hmm. with his journey mm -hmm. sat therefore on the well mm -hmm. and it was about the 12 sixth, midday yeah. yes. I'm just paraphrasing yes. to make it simpler mm -hmm. the sixth hour in the Jewish calendar it is 12 midday. Yes. <laughs> it's not surprising that yeah, after walking yeah. for 65 kilometers, 42 miles, mm -hmm. you get tired. Mm -hmm. Is it surprising, Pastor? No, it's not surprising. <laughs> right? 65. Uh, <laughs> On foot. On foot. Uh, no yeah. bicycle, no donkey, <laughs> no horse, uh, no, no train, no motorbike, mm -hmm. no Okada. <laughs> you see, in Nigeria, they've got those tricycles. Yes. In, in India, they call them tuk-tuk. <laughs> I used the one when I was in India to just feel it, how it feels. Very exciting. Kaya kaya, kafambe kaya. Patikaru nani manje, patiku panda manje, le tsoka manje. Kane kaji pisa petri waka gara. And I would go on foot. That was... Where it also explains the, the magnitude of the grace with which our Lord loved us. If he could follow that, <laughs> just for the Samaritan woman, <laughs> he sacrificed that. This mm. is uh, yes, it's amazing, Brother Nelson. Now, what, what, what amazes me and what 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 puts a lot of fear mm -hmm. and hesitation in me mm -hmm. is that if you look at John chapter 10, yes. in verse 16, mm -hmm. he was talking about us, the Gentiles. Yes. yes. What, did, what did he say? And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Yes. Them also must I bring. Yes. And they shall hear my voice. Yes. And there shall be one fold and one shepherd. What did he say? He says, them also yes. I must bring. Yes. He's talking about sheep yes. which are lost, yes. which he must bring. Yes. Let's quickly look at Luke 15, verse, one, verse 3. Mm -hmm. Luke 15, let's, let's read verse 3. Yes. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, what man of you having an hundred sheep, yes. if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness yes. and go after that which is lost until he find it? Yes. Let's end here. So the similarities, brethren, between John 10, mm -hmm. 16 mm -hmm. and Luke 15, 4. Mm -hmm. this, these are the words of our shepherd, yes. the shepherd and bishop of our souls. Yes. He says, if I have a hundred sheep mm -hmm. and then I lose one, yes. I will leave the ninety-nine and mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. after that which is lost mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. I find it. Mm -hmm. So the distance between the shepherd, shepherd. and the lost sheep, sheep is always covered by the shepherd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you getting this? Yes. Yes. It's not the sheep. 
No, it's not the sheep. <laughs> the distance between the lost sheep yes. and the good shepherd yes. is always covered yes. by the shepherd. Yes. Whenever the shepherd wants the sheep to come home, mm-hmm. it's not the sheep that walks the distance mm-hmm. to come to the shepherd. Yes. It is always the shepherd who walks the hard, the rock, and the thorny terrain mm. in search of the lost yes. sheep. So when we read John chapter 4, we are actually experiencing mm-hmm. what the Lord said he was going to do. Yes. We must see the 65 kilometers mm-hmm. that the shepherd walked in search of the lost sheep. Yes. This is the commitment. Mm-hmm. The Samaritan woman is a lost sheep, yes. as you can see mm-hmm. in the conversation. She's indeed a lost sheep. Yes, I am thinking and I'm saying... Wait, 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 Pastor. (laughs) I know you want to talk. Let me finish what I want to say here. I just want you to picture the the change of things in our time. Mm. The men of God of today are not willing to walk the high road, Mm -mm. to walk the hard roads. Mm -hmm. They are the ones using the best of private jets driving the best of cars, living in the best of houses. When they want to preach, they always find the most comfortable place to preach from. The national stadiums, the best hotel conference rooms and auditoriums. The man of God today is not willing to walk for 65 kilometers. He wants you to walk 65 kilometers Mm. to come to him. Mm. He now builds what are called healing schools, life uh, havens, and safe houses, spiritual hotels, and spiritual hospitals, where you must walk the 65 kilometers and find him with his big belly and shiny suit standing on the pulpit with no sweat at all in his armpit. All he knows how to do is to shout and gyrate and lie with a hoarse and, and a, a strong voice with a sinister rasp. It's, it's your day today <laughs> by power, by thunder. That's what the man of God is willing to do today. Men of God, you never find them in the streets of the high-density suburbs Preaching to those who are addicting themselves with substances and drugs. You will never see the man of God at a funeral Mm. holding a shovel, joining those that are burying the dead. The man of God will be seated on a leather couch, receiving the best meal at the funeral. Where is the spirit of the true shepherd? Mm. Where is the spirit of the true shepherd who suffers, who walks great distances to bring the lost sheep home? Where is the spirit of the true shepherd? Are you a fisherman who fishes from the back of your own home? (laughs) The fishermen we know, they go to the smelling waters, to the, to the, to the, to the filthy waters, mm. yes. the black waters and the dark waters. Yes. That's where you find the proper fishermen. Mm. You find a fisherman dirty, mm-hmm. smelling the smell of worms and rotten meat. Oh yes, because he cannot be smart mm. when he is in the thickets and forests. If you ask this, the, the the fisherman, why are you smelling so bad? He will tell you, I can't catch anything if I have a very expensive perfume Mm. on my body. Mm. It will scare the fishes away. 65 kilometers on foot. These are some of the scriptures that that, that scare me. Mm. I I get very scared. I ask myself, who am I going to identify with if I go to that place? Mm -hmm. I'm going to meet with people who walked these distances in search of lost souls. Mm. 
They were never received by presidents and hosted and great banquets and dinner parties were thrown for them to celebrate the coming of the man of God into town. Mm. No. He was seated by the well. He was drenched and tired. Mm -hmm. All he was looking for was a cup of water. Mm -hmm. The savior of the whole world was <laughs> tired. He walked 65 kilometers on foot. Just ask, ask yourself this question. Where is the spirit of the true shepherd? Judgment night. You are surprised. It's a wonder. <laughs> it's a wonder. <laughs> it's a wonder. He says, other sheep I have, mm. which are not of this fold, mm. them I must bring. Mm. He did say what? He said, them I, I must, must bring. Look at John 10, 16. Mm. He yes. said, I must bring. Yes. Yes. And if you go to John chapter 4, mm -hmm. it says, he must mm. need Go through Samaria. Yes. Do you know Fanir wa? Yes, yes. Give us John 10 16 first. Yes. I must. Do Fanir wa kuna atora. Inini. Inini. Dindi chayenda kuna atora. Yes. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold. So he is Samaritans yes. which do not belong to the Jews. Yes. What must he do for the Samaritans? Them also I must bring. You must go there. Yes. You want to go there. <laughs> you must go. Yes. Why don't you send Holy Spirit and you sit down? Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit will bring them home. You said, you know, I will go. Yes. The good shepherd says, I yes. must go. Oh. There are people who looked down on us because we were preaching in the streets. Mm -hmm. And we told them in no uncertain terms, yes. Yes. we are proud to be street oh, preachers. Yes. 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 We are fishermen. Yes. Unlike you, mm. who are fishing from the fishing, fishing. pond, mm -hmm. we fish from the seas yes. Yes. and the rivers. Mm. Yes. There are no seas where we live. Yes. We have to go down yes. to the sea. Mm. We have to go to the rivers. Yes. We will come back dirty and mm. smelling. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Yes. Imagine <laughs> We shall sit where the people sit. Yes. We shall stand where the people stand. Mm -hmm. We are going to be smelling dust which our people are smelling. Mm -hmm. That is the process yes. of fishing men. Amen. air-conditioned auditoriums. We will not do that. As long as we live, we shall always go out mm -hmm. to fetch the sheep. Yes. We shall see Apostle Chuenga at a farm. Mm -hmm. We shall see Apostle Chuenga in a mine. Mm -hmm. We shall see Apostle Chuenga in the villages. Yes. You are going to see Apostle Chuenga in the streets. Mm -hmm. Yes, you shall see us on the township and growth points. Yes. We shall be there. Yes. And we will never apologize. We will never feel ashamed to stand with the village men. Mm -hmm. We are going to stand with them. Yes. We are going to come back with the dirty clothes oh, yes. and the dirty shoes. Yes. We are going to come with a smell. Mm. We are going to be sweating in what heat. Yes. In the heat of the sun, we mm. shall be preaching. Even when it is raining, we yes. are going to be preaching. Yes. If our people can stand in the rain to listen to the word, yes. we shall also stand in the rain yes. to preach the word. Yes. That's what we shall do. Yes. If you feel ashamed to identify with this spirit, of the shepherd, mm. go to HICC there. <laughs> you will find a beautiful church. Yes. Yes. When we come to church like this, mm -hmm. 
we are coming to strengthen the sheep that have already come home. Oh, yes. yes. But there needs to be mm. a program where we go out to fetch the lost sheep, yes. to bring yes. them home. Yes. yes. When we preach like this, we can't expect all the sheep to come mm -hmm. when we preach from inside the house. Mm -hmm. Shepherding souls will require us to leave the other sheep yes. and go out yes. to bring those which are lost. Kana pashida ufeo kwa mazambi ya tisha afeka. Tichipari za shukura mwana. Kana pashidi wa magambu zu tisha afeka tichipari za shukura mwana. Kana pashidi wa renkoti tisha afeka renkoti tichipari za shukura mwana. Iso atisiku za kukumbira ya kutitine urombo. No, 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 no. First Corinthians chapter 9. Verse 16. Yes. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. Yea, what is unto me if I preach not the gospel? Yes, continue. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. Yes. What is my reward? Then? What is Apostle Chwenga's reward? Verily that when I preach the gospel. When I preach the gospel. I may make the gospel of Christ without charge. I should never make it an expense for you. Yes. That I abuse not my power in the gospel. Yes. I Although, don't want to abuse my power. Yes. In the gospel. Yes. For though I be free from all men, yes. yet if I made myself servant unto all, yes. that I might gain the more. Yes. And unto the Jews I became as a Jew. Unto the Jews I became as a Jew. That I might gain the Jews. The agenda is to gain the Jews to come to God. To them that are under the law, as under the law. Yes. That I might gain them that are under the law. 21. To them that are without the law, as without law being not without law to God, but under the law of Christ, that I might gain them that are without the law. But that under the law, law to Christ, yes. that I might gain them that are without the, are without the law. Yes. To the weak became I as weak, that yes. I might gain the weak. Yes. I am made all things to all men, yes. that I might by all means save some. And this I do, for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Yes. So he says, wherever I go, mm -hmm. I don't try, try to appear prominent, mm -hmm. to grandstand, yes. so that everyone around me may feel that I appear better than them. Yes. To appear affluent. No. When I meet the weak, I become as the weak. Yes. When I meet those who are under the law, I appear as if I'm under the law, mm -hmm. but I am not under the law. Yes. To those who are without the law, I behave like I'm not under the law to God, yes. but under the law to Christ. Yes. The idea is that I might gain them mm -hmm. that are without the law. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is the work that our Lord was doing. Don't deceive yourself. That since our Lord was God, he never felt the pain, the agony, and the, 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 the tiredness and the toll that comes with walking a distance of 65 kilometers. No. Yes. By thinking like that, you are assuming that when the Bible says uh, he was made like a man, he was not a man. No. He was made to be a man and he behaved as a man. He felt as a man. Yes. The Bible says our high priest was tempted with all temptations. He felt all our infirmities. He, he felt tired and exhausted. Yes, he felt that, that exhaustion. He felt it. The, the amazing thing is, well, the pastors of today, well, they are living as kings in their churches. You don't see them sweeping the floors. You don't see them doing any dead work. Mm -hmm. They are the kings. In other places, they are now called the first family. 
the wife of the man of God is now treated and called the first lady. Mm. You are privileged. Enjoy these privileges while they last. Mm. You are going to regret when you go to hell. You are going to desire to reverse all those privileges. Mm. Now, when we look at Acts chapter 1 verse 8, mm -hmm. we see the Bible saying, you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, yes. in all yes. Judea, and in Samaria, mm -hmm. and unto the uttermost part of the earth. So if you look at the program we, we exposed on Sunday, the gospel must begin in Jerusalem, yes. but then it must go through Judea and yes. Samaria yes. and the uttermost part of the earth. Mm -hmm. Why Judea and then Samaria and then the uttermost yes. parts of the earth? We are here to, exp to, to clarify that. Mm -hmm. But for now, I want us to look at the phrase the uttermost part of the earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I want you to know that this phrase, it means the Gentiles. Yes. What does it mean? The Gentiles. It means the Gentiles. Yes. So Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, these three places, they refer to the Israelites. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in, in summary, Acts chapter 1 verse 8 is saying, preach to the Israelites first yes. and then to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. But of course, you have to start with the Jews. Mm -hmm. um, maybe maybe we, we may want to read Acts 26, 22 mm -hmm. and 23 mm -hmm. to just clarify um, what happened there yes. Having therefore obtained the help of God I continue unto this day witnessing both to small and great saying none other things than those which the prophets and Moses did say should come. Yes. That Christ should suffer and that he should be the first that should rise from the dead and should show light unto the people and to the Gentiles. After he, he suffered Christ, yes. he then should first, he should show light first mm -hmm. to the people yes. and then to, to the, the Gentiles. Gentiles. Yes. Now, just think about it. The, read verse 23 again. Uh, people, we are going to be uh, uh, what, uh, uh, offended. Mm -hmm. They That's are going Christ. to say, well, I, what is, is Paul saying? Mm -hmm. is, was, this was Paul talking. Yes. Was Paul saying the Gentiles were not people? The answer is true. Yes. You are right. Mm -hmm. We were not people. Yes. And, and who would not have regarded us as people? people. It's God. Yes. yes. There was a time when Gentiles were not regarded as people, as people by yes. God. Mm -hmm. But as, as of now, let's, let's focus. After Christ suffers and rises from the dead, yes. he should show light to the, the people, people first and, and the then to the Gentiles. Yes. Yes. So it was ordained in God. Mm -hmm. He was to show light to the people first yes. and then to the Gentiles. Yes. He said it in Luke 24, 20, 20, uh, 46. Yes. Thus it behoved Christ to suffer, to suffer. Yes. and to rise from the dead the third day. Mm -hmm. yes. To do what? And that yes. repentance yes. of sins should be preached in his name among all nations yes. beginning, beginning at yes. Jerusalem. Yes. So in, when we looked at John 4, he was in Jerusalem. Yes. He had already begun in Jerusalem. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now he must needs go through Samaria. Yes. Why was he needed to go through Samaria? Mm -hmm. The answer is Samaria is part of or was uh, accommodating part of the Israelites. Yes. The, the Jerusalem accommodated predominantly those who were descendants of Judah. Yes. Judah was one mm -hmm. of the 12 tribes. Yes. So the, the Bible, the, the way the people 
in Acts 26, 23, mm. refers to the 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. But then Jerusalem only had one tribe. Mm -hmm. That's why for the gospel to go to the Gentiles, mm -hmm. it had to be preached to the 12 tribes yes. before it goes out oh. to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. It's clear, right? Yes. yes. So we are going to prove and, and, and be very, very meticulous and forensic. Mm -hmm. about this word Samaria. Mm -hmm. Why are Israelites suddenly known as uh, Samaritans? Samaritans? Mm -hmm. We will show you that. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, yes. let us also prove why mm -hmm. it was necessary for to the gospel them. to be preached first wow. to Israel mm -hmm. and then to the Gentiles. The Gentiles in Eshona. Saka Ishewedu pa John 4. Pano Sangana Nimkadu Samaria. Mm -hmm. Waganga Ajib by Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Dog Vajans in a guaru patrini four. Why funny wa kudarika nepa Samaria? Yes. Mubunzo mm -hmm. du anga uru kut what is she tapano? Mm-hmm. Pakupari Zakuti. Tudaku intro jizam kadzi m Samaria. Mm -hmm. Tudaku ziva kuti why funny wa nechi kwan zero j yes. Guaru zataveri nga ijeji. Mm-hmm. Me and Zanizo and the way eggs chapter one verse eight. Luke chapter 24, verse 46 to 48. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Tangat Chiviringa, Acts 26, 22 to 23. Mm -hmm. Iri kuti, Jesu achimuka kuwa kafa. Mm -hmm. Aifani, wakutanga apari, ziri wawanu. Mm -hmm. Ndiko kuti wana wa Israel. Yes. Vanima tribes, it kwa. Mm -hmm. Risa, tiraenda, kuwa eden. Mm -hmm. Saka, izi, jato honi kwa kari na magwara, Tavirenga, kuti zaa, zaka rongwa na mga, zaka dara. Yes. yes. Chatasaru wana chobe zinche kufunza kuti indava. Mm -hmm. Why Israel first? Yes. Right. And it? <laughs> yes. But for those who want to learn more, we don't have time to go deeper into this matter. Yes. Go and listen to the message, what is wrong with Ruben. Mm -hmm. All the details are clarified there. Yes. You see. Why? But we are going to prove why. Yes. Why, did, why was it necessary mm -hmm. for the gospel to be preached first yes. to the people yes. that is to the Israelites. Yes. Why was it necessary? Before we do that, let us prove first, number one, that indeed only Jews or Israelites were called the people. Yes. We were not people at first. Yes. We were not people. Uh, Romans 10, verse 19. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses says, mm -hmm. I will provoke you to jealousy yes. by them that are no people. Yes. Mm -hmm. And by a foolish nation will I anger you. Yes. Yes. Is it clear? It is clear. Is it clear, right? Yes. <laughs> Israel was told by Moses. Israel was told by whom? By Moses. What did Moses tell Israel? He said, I will prov the Lord will provoke you to jealousy by them which are no people. This is in Deuteronomy <laughs> chapter 32, yes. verse 21. Yes. Read it, Pastor. Tinenge ti nevanu, wa nenge vashitaku kajabo, vashifundza kuti, murumu ima vesa ya nenge achitu kudi iko. Ha? They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy. Why, how, those, how are you going to move them to jealousy? <laughs> with those which are not a people, I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. Yes. Hey, so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Gentiles were so, foolish nations. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Moses had already prophesied. Mm -hmm. He said, well, these Israelites will never believe. Yes. So what I will do is, if they fail to believe, mm -hmm. I will provoke them to anger. Mm -hmm. I will move them to jealousy yes. with those, those which are not, not people. people. Yes. So, mm -hmm. And it was yes. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. Jesus said, Tangati Sirivan. Yes. <laughs> We're fools as well. <laughs> <No people. laughs> Those who are asking if we were not people, then what were we? 
Uh, yeah. let's, let's read Matthew 15 mm-hmm. verse 21 then, yes, went, yes. then Jesus went thence yes. and departed into the coast of Tyre yes. Yes. and yes. Sidon yeah. where did Jesus go? <laughs> to, to the, the coast, coast of, of Tyre, Tyre and Sidon and that is to the heavens <laughs> 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 pastor am I is Tyre and Sidon part of Israel? Huh? <laughs> no for those who do not know Tyre and Sidon, these are Gentile territories. Yes, yes. We may study TRG. Brother Nelson. Lebanon. Lebanon. Yes. Yes, thank you. So the Lord went to Lebanon. Yes. All right? Yes. He went to the Gentiles. Yes. Remember, Hiram, the friend of David. Yes. Was the king of Lebanon. Yes. <laughs> yes. So the Lord went to the Gentiles. Yes. I'm Yes. 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 Twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. But you got to see an inner day. To the good one of us, you is right. A kind of tear in a good thing. Yes. A kind of whoopy. Two jagaper made the fifteen. Two double zero to the Java, a Danish Vaganga Sirivanu. Yes. Langa Yes. So what happened when you went to stay in Sidon? And mm. behold, a woman of Canaan came So, by the way, those who do not know why these nations are always called Tyre and Sidon, mm-hmm. it is because the nation is actually Sidon. Mm. Tyre is an isle inside the sea. Yes. So, usually, the king would be the king of Tyre and, and Sidon, Sidon. Mm-hmm. or the king of Sidon and, and Tyre. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sidon is by the coast. Yes. Tyre is an isle inside the sea. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast, coast and cried unto him, saying, The Canaanite woman was a Gentile woman. Yes. Yes. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Yes. Thou son of David. Thou son of... You see what she said? Yes. She said, you belong to the Jews, yes. but I am in trouble. Yes. We are not related, but you are the Lord. Yes. Help us, yes. Yes. My daughter is grievously vexed with yes. the devil. Yes. Quick, but quick. he answered... He had not a, a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. Yes. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of Israel. You see. The house of Israel. So yes. he said, No, I can't help you. Yes. I am only sent to the lost sheep of the, the house, house of, of Israel. Israel. Yes. In other words, you are not part of the people. Yes. 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 Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. She said, but please, I need your said, help. What did he say this time? It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. <laughs> to, 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 to dogs. Yes. So. so those who want to know, mm. the Bible says we were not people. Yes. Who were we or what were we? Yes. According no now not to Paul now. Yes. yes. This is no longer Paul talking. Yes. According to our Lord Jesus, mm-hmm. yes. we were dogs. Yes. When any tagatiri vana boki. Yes. Dog to shinya It is the Lord God who says. Yes, but it, it reminds me of Joshua and Caleb when we learned in earlier messages yes, yes, that yes. Caleb means Sangatiri Vanabo. Sangatirivanabo. Sangatirivanabo. Both white and black, Indian, or whatever the color of your skin. <laughs> we were dogs. Yes. Not to the Israelites. Yes. We were dogs to, to God. God. Yes. yes. We get it. Mm-hmm. So, yes, we can read Matthew 7 6. We don't have time to read it to yes. just learn more about dogs. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Um, so, we were not people. Mm-hmm. We were dogs. Yes. So, when Paul said, after he rises from the dead, mm-hmm. he was going to show light to the people, people. and then to the Gentiles. Mm-hmm. He was now giving us the revelation. Yes. Of what the word dogs means, mm. it means Gentiles. Yes. Mm-hmm. You see now? Yes. Yeah. It is strange. Mm. 
for the Gentiles to start following the Jews, mm -hmm. which is say it is an abomination to keep dogs as, as pets. Yes. They say dogs are dead and unclean animals. Magambo Shinzo, Kunevan Vatema, Kanakutiva, a den, but not Israel, Anga, Singa, Chengete, Imbra, Nebuzanga, Zakashi, Bapa, Bilpa, Mangar, Sagavano, Toravajiti, Isusu, a teaching get him, Ganebuzaka, Zaka Mora. Avaji, Zido, Kutiva, a den, but Judas, Vakanga, Singa, Chengete, Imbra, Vito Paris, Zauta, Tina Martin, Ava, a den. Yes. Iwewe nembuka makango vana na kana mureru ka zoka. Pastor, move this way. Yes, I'm my introduction. So let's let's not go there. We just wanted it to be clear. We were not people. Who were we? We were dogs. Yes. Now let's come back to this matter. We want to do it at a tete and then go to the other issues. We just want to go swiftly and also procedurally. The gospel had to be preached first to Israel. Mm -hmm. So when he left Judea, he must needs go through mm -hmm. Samaria because that is where some of the Israelites lived. Mm -hmm. So for God to send the gospel to the Gentiles, mm -hmm. he had to deal with those in Judea mm -hmm. plus those in, in Samaria mm -hmm. plus those in Galilee yes. first yes. before the gospel goes out. Mm -hmm. Of Israel. Yes. Is it clear, right? Yes. yes. So, before we prove why, I think I feel I have to give you another scripture mm -hmm. that shows you that it was necessary mm -hmm. for the gospel to pass through Samaria, Samaria or the gospel to be preached first to the people, in other words, to the 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. Acts 13 43. This is another scripture which you should never forget. Yes. Maybe let's start from verse 45 for the sake of our time. Yes. Is it true that when Jesus our Lord rose from the dead, mm -hmm. he had to commission the 11 apostles mm -hmm. to preach first in Jerusalem mm -hmm. and in Judea yes. and in Samaria yes. and then mm -hmm. to the uttermost parts yes. of the world? Yes. 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 But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy and spake against those things which were spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed the board and said, It was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> but seeing you put it from you and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, Lo, we, we turn to the Gentiles. Yes. So he said it was necessary. Yes. Necessary. Yes. Imperative. Yes. Obligatory. Yes. Unavoidable. Yes. That the word of God yes. should yes. first have been spoken to you. Mm -hmm. Who was he talking to? To the, the Jews. Jews. Seeing you put it from you and judge yourselves and wait of everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Where do you go now? Yes. We turn to, to the, the Gentiles. Gentiles. Let us highlight the word first that the word of God should first mm -hmm. yes. have been spoken mm -hmm. to you. To, you. Yes. to Israel first mm -hmm. and then to the Gentiles. Yes. To Israel first and then to the Gentiles. Yes. It's now clear. Yes. The question now is why? Yes. Why was it necessary? Yes. Romans chapter 1, verse 1 to 2. That is the answer. <laughs> Romans chapter 1, verse 1 to 2. Paul, Paul a servant, servant of Jesus Christ called to be an apostle separated unto the gospel of God. Yes. What are you talking about? Which he had promised afore by his prophets in, in the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. The first answer is the gospel was promised mm -hmm. to Israel yes. because they were the custodians of, of the Holy Scriptures. Yes. Yes. So Israel first 
because yeah. they were the ones with the promise yes. of the gospel. Yes. According to Romans 1.1, 1, 1, mm. the gospel yeah. is what Paul is, a, is, is separated <laughs> to preach. Yes. But of course, this gospel was promised in mm. the Holy Scriptures. Yes. Who has the Holy Scriptures? Israel has the Holy Scriptures. So Israel first, because Israel is the custodians <laughs> of the Holy Scriptures. Yes. The dogs did not have anything. Yes. In Bogaza, this is not anything. That this is not Chiporofita Chevangel. Israel, in Bogazanga, this is not Jacare Maguaro, Machene, Maguaro, Chayo, Chayo, Tanaka Bible, Tanaka Book, Rangarina, Israel, Sakamarachi, too much, yes, so Amukakua Kaf. Chita uraniwa kuma na wako iwe. Mm. Sha wamu kakudai. Mm. Tanga kupari zira uyanga ine magwaracho. Mm. Diweka wakanga wawuzi kwa na mozis. Yes. Kuti mwaracha kumuti la mporofita pakati pako. Mm. Uyu mporofita. Mm. Uno jiramba zi magwaro na wakudari. Kaza na isire nezo kunyepa. <laughs> Paura kati chire kaisha. Wangu ndi ende na enye hai. Kwa edeni. Israel is the custodian of the Holy Scriptures. According to Romans 1, 1 and 2. Yes. What else does Israel have? Acts chapter 3, 25 and you 26. Are, you are yes. the children of the prophets. You are the children of the promise, prophets. And, and of the covenant which God made with our fathers. Yes. Saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Yes. Unto you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. The second scripture is Acts 3, 25 and 26. Yes. It mentions the Abrahamic covenant, mm -hmm. the Abrahamic promise. Yes. It was given to Abraham concerning his children. Mm -hmm. You are the children of the prophets and the children of the covenant. Yes. So Israel is the child of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Israelites are children of Abraham. Concerning whom? God gave a covenant and God made a promise. Yes. So there is a covenant that God cut with Abraham. And with that covenant was also given a promise. Yes. Because of these two, the Abrahamic covenant and the Abrahamic promise, mm. Christ our Lord had to be born among Israel. Yes. Because this is the third thing mentioned in this passage. Unto you first, God having raised his son, Jesus Christ. So, Christ was born among mm -hmm. Israel, mm -hmm. which is the third reason mm -hmm. why the gospel had to be preached first, first. to Israel. Yes. Because Christ was born mm -hmm. among Israel mm -hmm. to fulfill the Abrahamic covenant and the Abrahamic promise. Mm -hmm. yes. Israel first, mm -hmm. because they are children of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Israel first, because they are children of the covenant, the covenant. and the children of the promise. Mm -hmm. Israel first, because mm -hmm. Christ mm -hmm. was born mm -hmm. among them mm -hmm. to fulfill the covenantal promise mm -hmm. in Abraham. Mm -hmm. The last scripture is Romans chapter 9, verse 1 to 5. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Yes. I say the truth in Christ. What are you talking and which truth in Christ are you saying? I lie not. Who my... said you? Who had said you are lying? <laughs> my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. Why are you emphasizing that you are being honest about this matter? What is wrong with you, Paul? That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Who is sorrowing you? What is sorrowing you? For I wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren. Don't my, say that. My kinsmen according to the flesh. Who are these kinsmen of yours according to the flesh? Who are Israelites? Oh, you are talking about Israelites. What about them? To whom pertained the adoption? The adoption pertains to Israel. And the glory. The glory was given to Israel. And the covenants. The covenants were given to Israel. And the giving of the law Lord. was given to Israel. And the service of The service of God, of God was and given to Israel. The promises were given to Israel. Whose are the fathers? The fathers belong to Israel. Mm. And of whom concerning the, 
and of whom is concerning the flesh Christ came. Also Christ came from 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 them in the flesh. Yes, who is all who is about who is over all. So can we read what are the things mm -hmm. that causes the gospel to be free preached first to Israel? Yes. According to Apostle Paul, there are about six things there. Yes. Let's read verse 4 and 5. Yes. Let's see why mm -hmm. the gospel was preached first to Israel. Yes. Let's read one, two, three, four, five, and see how many we come up with. Yes. yes. Who are Israelites? Yes. To whom pertain the adoption? Number one, the adoption yes. pertains yes. to Israel. Yes. So God yes. had promised Israel yes. that He was going to adopt yes. Israel. Yes. Mm -hmm. and so adoption God. is the yes. other reason why yes. the gospel was preached first. Yes. God gave a promise mm -hmm. of adoption, adoption to Israel. Number two. And the glory. God promised and God gave the glory to Israel. Israel. Number two, yes. And the covenant. The covenants were given to Israel. Number three. And the giving of the law Lord. was given to Israel. Number four. And the service. The of service God. of God was okay. given to Israel. Number five. And the Is it number four? Number five. Number five. Number five yes. What yes. else? And the promises. The promises were given to Israel. Yes. Number seven. Whose are the fathers? The fathers belong to Israel. Yes. And of whom is concerning the flesh, <laughs> Christ, Christ came. came. <laughs> How many reasons? Eight, eight of them. Yes. Mm. So these are all the reasons why <laughs> it had to go first. Yes. To Israel. To Israel. Mm. Are you get, are you are you are you gaining momentum in this <laughs> in this part twenty two? Truly, yes. Nelson. We we are being excited, am I? And uh, there is always that drive that we we get through learning. Yes. Uh, if you re receive things new, you always feel excited to continue and learn even further because the, the it it opens up to a lot of things. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like now we had our understanding about Israel, which we had before. Yes. But we never really knew that why was it that the gospel was. It, it was of necessity that it was going to start. Yes, because our Apostle Paul in Acts 13 said it was necessary yes, yes. that the gospel should be preached first mm -hmm. to Israel. Yes. yes. Now we answered why. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there is a plethora of reasons. Yes, yes. <laughs> Pastor, are you, are you enjoying the series? Yes, I'm being blessed. And uh, when I look at it, yeah. <laughs> He must need to go through Samaria. He must need to go through Samaria, yes. yes. We, we, we now see uh, the love of God. Uh, number one, we've learned why, anyway. We now know why he had to pass through Samaria. Because yes. Because they are Israelites. Yes. And why yes. Yes. we have learned a lot of reasons why the gospel had to be preached first to the Israelites which is something new to us. We never thought of it. And then, like, from the beginning, we, are, we were enjoying it. And uh, I wanted to say at uh, that time that when you mentioned the issue of a shepherd going to find a lost sheep, I, I, I saw myself, some of the sheep, they, all, they even go further <laughs> from home than... When they are lost, Panizima uh, wise, but it's not as Kira Muduze member nations. But he wine and get us Kira sixty five kilometers. I see Ishaka in the Coco at Fambanitoka and the Nanjitas out of Timon go up and Pampa Pemzima Yuka Pampa can out of a sixty four kilometer peg Nekunet Sime. But Isha had to walk another kilometer to follow. I just distance. traveling such a distance, following us. The hidden things of God. Sakafana na distance ye nika tisitaritwa nyaya e kukura kwe rwendo rwacho tatendandru kushami sika nazo ndiro rudo rokai tuwa na shikwatir. Yes. All right. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm so excited, Pastor, because yes. we, we are, even as, as we learn the word, we mm -hmm. get to learn mm -hmm. 
<laughs> we get to learn that we were so far away. Oh, yes. And yes. nobody committed a single hour mm -hmm. to coming back to God. Mm -hmm. Nobody committed any energies, any thoughts, mm -hmm. even your money. Yeah. So I'm setting aside so much, much money goodness. every month. It mm -hmm. will help me to go to God. Yes. Mm -hmm. We were used. You see, we were so deeply sunken into the pit mm -hmm. and into mm -hmm. the dungeon of sin. Yes. That there was no hope that mm. we were ever going to come out by ourselves no, no. and look for God. Yes. Like Lazarus, we were buried. Buried, yes. And the tomb was sealed. <laughs> sealed. Everyone had forgotten us. Yes. According to scripture, we were without hope. Yes. But the Lord committed himself. Mm. After rising from the dead, mm -hmm. he also committed to walk yes. a distance Yes. Looking for each and, and every, every one, one of, of us. us. Mm. Like the, 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 the Samaritan woman, yes. each time the Lord comes, he mm. finds you excited mm. about your own vain <laughs> life. Yes, that's one. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Uh, so I yeah. want you to read the book of First Kings, Pastor. Yes. We are going to do a tete a tete, tete. Mm -hmm. but before we do that, I want us to look at First Kings, mm -hmm. chapter sixteen. Yes. Now, um, I want you to know that the history of the kingdom of Israel mm -hmm. is that um, the, the tribes of Israel are twelve. Yes from Reuben to Benjamin, the 12th born. Mm -hmm. So these are the tribes that made up the kingdom of Israel mm -hmm. that David reigned over mm -hmm. as a king yes. after he took over from Saul, the son of Kish, mm -hmm. the Benjamin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Solomon took over from David and Solomon also reigned for 40 years instead of his father mm -hmm. over these 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. yes. But in the death of Solomon, when he died, the, the kingdom was divided into two. Mm -hmm. Judah and a certain percentage of the Benjamites became the nation of Judah. Mm -hmm. The tribe of Judah plus the tribe of Benjamin. Mm -hmm. joined together mm -hmm. yes. to make up the kingdom of Judah mm -hmm. or the nation of Judah mm -hmm. whose capital city mm -hmm. was Jerusalem. Yes. Yeah. But the servant of Solomon took over a bigger portion of the tribe of Benjamin mm -hmm. plus the ten tribes. Okay? Yes. Um, of course, you must always remember that Levi is not part of the 12 tribes mm -hmm. when we talk about the settlement issues of Israel. Mm -hmm. Because Levi was never given his own cities. Mm -hmm. He was divided into the 11 tribes mm -hmm. because of his uh, priestly duties. Mm -hmm. But even after Levi was separated for the service of God, mm -hmm. there still remained the 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. And one will say, how come? How does it happen? <laughs> how can you say there are 12 tribes excluding Levi? Well, these are very, very complex mm -hmm. um, spiritual matters which you will need to learn more. But I will summarize it in a layman's way for you to understand. Before Jacob died, which happened in, um, in G Genesis 49, mm -hmm. He adopted the two sons of Joseph, which are Ephraim and Manasseh. Mm -hmm. If you read Genesis 48, he took his hands and placed them across each other. Yes. And he honored Ephraim, the younger one, mm -hmm. with the right hand. Yes. And he dishonored Manasseh, the elder one, by laying his left hand on Manasseh. Mm -hmm. And these are the words. Let's put that scripture up. 
in yes. Genesis 48. These are the words of Jacob yes. when he adopted Ephraim and Manasseh. He said, these, your two sons, mm -hmm. are now mine. Yes. That is not the scripture. The, read it, Brother Nelson. Yes. Uh, let me just... It's Genesis 48 and not Genesis 49. Yes, it's, it's Genesis 14, 48. Mm. Genesis... Yeah, from verse 18. From and, verse 13, yes. And Joseph yes. took them both. Ephraim in his right hand. He took Ephraim from with his right hand. Toward Israel's left hand. Yes. And Manasseh in, in his left hand toward Israel's right hand. Yes. And brought them near unto him. And Israel stretched out his hand, his right hand, and laid it upon uh, upon Ephraim's head, who was the younger, and his left upon Manasseh's head, guiding his hand with his hands wittingly. For Manasseh was the firstborn. And he blessed Joseph and said, God, God before whom my fathers, uh, before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac did walk, the God which fed me all my life uh, uh, long unto this day, the angel which redeemed me from all evil, bless the lads, and let my name be named on them, and the name of thy fathers, of, of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, all right, it's verse 5. Jacob said in verse 3 unto Joseph, God Almighty appeared unto me at Luz yes. in the land of Canaan and blessed me. Mm -hmm. And said unto me, Behold, I will make thee fruitful and multiply thee. And I will make of thee a multitude of people and will give this land to thy seed after thee for an everlasting possession. And now thy two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, yes. which were born unto thee in the land of Egypt, before I came unto thee into Egypt, are mine. Yes. As Reuben and Simeon, mm -hmm. they shall be mine. Yes. So we have spoken about these things. We don't want to teach the what is wrong with Reuben series again. Mm -hmm. We are just doing it for the rest of those who may be joining us for the first time. Um, now, let, let this be understood, Pastor. That they are 12 tribes. Yes. Because even though Levi was separated for the service of God, mm -hmm. but God treated the house of Jacob mm -hmm. with the two names of Joseph mm -hmm. as the other two sons of Jacob. Mm -hmm. So if you are listing the names of the tribes of Israel, mm -hmm. you don't write the name Joseph. Mm -hmm. You write Ephraim mm -hmm. and Manasseh. Yes. So if you take away Levi, mm -hmm. you still have another yes. son, which means they remain 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. So you'll be saying the sons of Israel mm -hmm. were as follows in terms of the land okay. given to them, mm -hmm. not in terms of the census. Yeah. We are talking about the land. The land. Mm -hmm. We have Reuben, yes. we have Simeon, yeah. we have Judah, Judah, we have Gad, yes. we have Naphtali, yes. we have Issachar, we have Asha. We have Zebulun, mm -hmm. we have Ephraim, mm -hmm. we have Manasseh, we have Benjamin. Mm -hmm. Who else? They are, they are 12. Mm -hmm. Even if we take away Levi. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. So, we, we, we are going to include Levi mm -hmm. in the census. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the land, yes. Levi was not given a separate city. Yes. or a set, separate set of cities. Mm -hmm. He was divided into mm -hmm. the 12 tribes. Yes. Yes. Saka tina, tina levi mm -hmm. percentage, yes. but baland levi yes. But one of the 12 tribes baland, yes. because yes. Ephraim yes. na Manasseh waka yes. adopt kwa waka mm -hmm. kwa wana, wa mm Jacob. -hmm. Yes. And those who have heard the what is wrong with Ruben series, mm -hmm. they know Mm -hmm. That yes. Reuben was disregarded yes. as the firstborn. Yes. There was a point mm -hmm. when God adopted Ephraim mm -hmm. as yes. the firstborn of Israel yes. and not the firstborn and, and not Reuben. Mm -hmm. Now, if you read the book of Revelation 7, mm -hmm. you are going to see the list of the 12 tribes of mm -hmm. Israel, yes. but you are not going to find the tribe of Dan mm -hmm. because the tribe of Dan was involved in idolatry. Yeah. 
in the earlier stages. Yes. And part of the land of Israel is Ephraim as well. Mm -hmm. Even though God is not there, there are still 12 tribes, tribes because of Ephraim and Manasseh. Yes. So these yes. are not things we are making up. Mm -hmm. Those who know Dan, mm -hmm. and they will know that Dan is not part mm -hmm. of the uh, 12 tribes in Revelation chapter number 7. Yes. But God is there. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is the one we had left out in the 12 tribes. Yes. We have God and Dan, Dan. and then God. we have Naphtali and, and Asher. Yes. Those are the people, the sons of Jacob born through Zilpah and Bilhah, mm -hmm. the bondmates. Mm -hmm. yes. The other six were, are from Leah, yes. and then there's Joseph and Benjamin from Rachel yes. to make up 12. Sure. So after the kingdom was divided, we now have um, how many? We have 10 tribes mm -hmm. and two, two tribes. tribes. Yes. You see? Yes. So what we, we are saying is in the days of Saul, mm -hmm. the kingdom was 12 tribe kingdom. Mm -hmm. In the days of David, David. it comprised of 12, 12 tribes. tribes. In the days of Solomon, Solomon. it comprised of 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. But this is what happened. Before you read chapter 16, Pastor, yes. um, Yes, yes, it's very historical and very many details. Mm -hmm. uh, others may not really have the energy to follow up these details. Mm -hmm. But we love to give you these details because it is details that make up the true doctrine yes. or the false doctrine. Mm -hmm. Now, you will find out in First Kings chapter 11, mm -hmm. Um, that um, the Aija, the prophet, yes, mm -hmm. he met with Jeroboam mm -hmm. in verse 30. Yes. Let's and, start from verse 29. And it came to pass at that time when Jeroboam went out of Jerusalem. That the Jeroboam Aijah, went out from Jerusalem. What did he do, Jeroboam? That the prophet Aija, the Shilonite, found him in the way, and he, he, and he had clad himself with a new garment, and they too were alone in the field. And Aija caught the new garment that was on him, and rent it in twelve pieces. And he said to Jeroboam, Take thee ten pieces, for thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, Behold, I will rent the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon, and will give ten tribes to thee, but he shall have one tribe for my servant David's sake. And, the, and for Jerusalem's sake, the city which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. Yes. yes. So, but he shall have one tribe. Yes. He, shall, he shall have one tribe. Yes. For my servant David's sake. Yes. And for Jerusalem's sake. Yes. The city which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. Israel. Right. So you then wonder how many tribes do we get now? <laughs> uh, let's read verse 34. How bet I will not take the whole kingdom out of his hand, but I will make him prince all the days of his life for David my servant's sake, whom I chose, mm -hmm. because he kept my commandment and my statutes. 35. But I will take the kingdom out of his son's hand. I will take the kingdom of Israel from David's son's hand. And will give it unto thee, even ten tribes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And unto his son will I give one tribe. That I will David, give the David's son one yes. tribe. Yes. That David, my servant, may, may have a light always before me in Jerusalem. Yes. The city which I have chosen me to put my name there. Thank you. So this is the story now, mm -hmm. how the kingdom was divided. Mm -hmm. yes. God was not pleased with Solomon's character. Mm -hmm. yes. So God divided it into two. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. um, but then the Ahijah prophet, he met with Jeroboam, mm -hmm. who was the commander of the defense forces in mm -hmm. the days of Solomon. Mm -hmm. yes. Ahijah tore the, the general's garment mm -hmm. into pieces, yes. 12 pieces. Yes. This is what the scripture says yes. in verse 30. Yes. And Aija caught the new garment yes. that was on him and rent it in 12 pieces. How many pieces does Aija rent it in 12? 
How many pieces did he ask Jeroboam to pick? Ten. And how many tribes was the son of David given? <laughs> One. How many pieces were on the ground? <laughs> One. <laughs> twelve together. There were twelve pieces. Yes. Yes. How many pieces was Jeroboam given? Ten. Ten. And how many pieces was the son of David given? One. One. How many pieces do they make up? Ten plus one? Eleven. <laughs> they don't make it twelve plus brother no yes, they, they make eleven. eleven. Yes. Where was the other one? Yes. Why told me because, because, <laughs> because that one, other one was disregarded because something happened, like he explained now. That, that uh, the tribe, tribe of Benjamin Dan. was to be shared between No, that's not the explanation. <laughs> 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 First they want to try. <laughs> The pieces were twelve. Yes. I did. Yes. Goma now we are going to have a piece twelve a bag. Two vans in longer day. Two vans for a day. Yes. So as in our one year, Sarah and Jeppa man were there. That's it. As if as if I'm going to Sarah Magani. One. Ah, Papa Sarah two. We don't have poor one nigga. The pieces represented the twelve tribes. Yes. Jeroboam was given how many pieces? Ten. And one each piece represented what? A tribe. A, a tribe. tribe. Mm -hmm. Yes. And God said, "I'm leaving one tribe, tribe for David. the son of David." Yes. Mm -hmm. What happened to the to the remaining, remaining piece? piece? First, I want to try. <laughs> no, am I? Which Which was the data? The answer is the last. The remaining tribe is Levi. Levi yeah. cannot be shared. Oh. All right. Levi is not a. <laughs> A vacant tribe. Okay. Leva I go away. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't go be here. So I go into the job. I go into the job. I have a request. So I can peace and go out to go. But the job I have to attend. My rag at one is just a man of David. Apana I have funds to go. One is a Sarah Pasapa. No, Madi is going to go for food. Pamwe pamwe jirobo wa maiti ni mandi pasu wangu tenika Chipa ika ui mwana wa Daviti tu Aka ngura ambari tukoru Patipa kwa wani kwa ilevi So the mystery I was explaining to you Is even encapsulated in this mystery Which is in 1st Kings 11 Aija tore the garment of jirobo wa Into 12 pieces But he only allocated 11 The other 12 was never mentioned yes. in mm -hmm. the distribution mm -hmm. because the 11 represented Levi. Levi a go anwe. Ne kuti Levi a tongwe ne munu. Levi a nanu mtonga. Levi is not part of the citizens of Israel who are under the king. Levi is a servant of God. He doesn't take instructions from the king. Mm. So those who are getting allocations to, to, to rule, <laughs> they can't consider Levi as yeah, one of their subjects. Yeah. When the king comes to the temple, mm -hmm. he says, I am your child yes. to the priest. Yes. So God will never consider Levi as yes. part of those who are to be distributed right. to the kings. Munakato, we are kutembe. Anotoshika achigwesha. Achiti mwana wenyu alikuruwara. Mubatire indimi munu wa mwana. Saka mwaraka, ee, ashitaura mlevi. Saka paneke pachitakwa mazimambo, levi wa asipati vaya wanutungwa vaya. Ato govewe za chose. Siana ina levi. This is how the men of God was important in Israel. Those who were counting, making and doing census, they would know. Levi, we may number him, but he is not part of our subject. Yes. When the king enacts the law, mm -hmm. the law of the king doesn't cover Levi. Yes. It doesn't affect Levi. Levi is under the law of God. Mm -hmm. He is a set-apart servant of God. Mm -hmm. So that's how the kingdom was divided. Mm -hmm. It was divided into two. Mm -hmm. Ten tribes by Ahijah, mm -hmm. the prophet, mm -hmm. were given to Jeroboam, who, by the way, was not royal seed. Mm -hmm. Jeroboam was not related to the royal family. He was a commoner. He is called Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. So, the one tribe which we said it is Judah, mm -hmm. and a certain fraction of Benjamin, mm -hmm. was given to 
Rehoboam, the son of Solomon. So, if we were going to treat every tribe as a province, mm -hmm. we could say the, child, the kingdom of Israel mm -hmm. is made up of 12 tribes, mm -hmm. excluding Levi. Mm -hmm. Or we can say 11 tribes. Let's not divide Joseph into Ephraim and Manasseh. Mm -hmm. Let's treat them as 11, mm -hmm. excluding Levi. Mm -hmm. Then we say the kingdom that the soul reigned over was made up of 12, oh, 11. 11 provinces. Mm -hmm. David reigned over oh. 11 provinces. Solomon reigned over 11 mm -hmm. provinces. Mm -hmm. Aija made the command of Solomon's army before Solomon died. Mm -hmm. He tore his new garment into 12 pieces, yes. but he only distributed 11. 11. He excluded Levi. Mm -hmm. So he gave 10 provinces yes. to the servant of Solomon, mm -hmm. who was a commoner, and he gave the son of Solomon one, one. province, which is Judah. Mm -hmm. So when Solomon died, there were now two nations mm -hmm. born out of one. one. A divided nation, mm -hmm. which is not an act of demons. Mm -hmm. It is not a, a demon that is split the kingdom of Israel into two. It was God because mm -hmm. it was done by the prophet, yes. Ahijah the prophet. Mm -hmm. He is the one who divided it. We are a kingdom. Yes. As yes. Satan, I can divide any kind. Mm. 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 general Mm. 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 When he is talking about an, an issue mm -hmm. that divides the nation into two kingdoms, mm -hmm. that changes the presidents, mm -hmm. he only took the government Amen. and rent it into 12 pieces and he went back to his house. Mm -hmm. That is how the nation was divided. How much should the man of God do for the world to listen to him mm -hmm. <laughs> as a man who is truly sent from God? There was no lightning that striked from heaven <laughs> to divide Jeroboam's garment into uh, 12 pieces. Yeah. He was not seen, seen flying with wings mm -hmm. or accompanied with angels and chariots of fire from heaven. Ahijah was an ordinary man who just said to the general, don't do that with Vara. Mungao, Nonge, nonge, nonge. You can't think I to divide why you see. My change of man, my president, my very, my capital city, my very, my commander and chief, my very, my supreme court justice offices, my very. When you come, no, my change of man, my constitutional court, my very. In the end, when my guru, I'm going to undergo the downward chair of Pambera. Those are sangana. I just want to end up. Those who do not know. Solomon heard what the prophet had done. He tried to kill Jeroboam. Jeroboam fled to Egypt. He only came back after Solomon died. This idea of trying to kill a successor is not new. Mm -hmm. Solomon tried to kill the, the one that God had appointed. Just like he saw, was trying to kill David. Mm -hmm. Politics has always been toxic mm -hmm. and dangerous. Those who think it's new need to wake up. The man of God must do what more than say what God is saying. What more should we do? Do you want to see us standing mm -hmm. on our heads for you to believe God has spoken to us? Mm -hmm. And when we speak, things happen. Yes. People expect us to come back and say, what is happening? We said it. We don't have time to do that. Yes. There is a time for a man of God to talk. Mm -hmm. And there's a time for a man of God to just leave things happening. Yes. Mm -hmm. And those who listen will go back to what he said. He said, yes. he said it. We won't talk yes. every time. Yes. What exactly do you expect us to do as men of God? Mm -hmm. If we tell you what God has said, what else should we do? <laughs> 
if if Jeroboam as wicked as he was, he took heed to what Ahijah had said and he ran to Egypt, knowing very well, I am going to be president of this country. God said it, but this is not the right time. Jeroboam did not do any mystical thing. He didn't even heal someone with a headache to prove what he had said was from God. He just rent the general's garments, which anyone can do. Mm -hmm. Even a six-year-old can do what Aija did. The only difference was the power behind his voice. Let's live and see who is going to have the last laugh. If God has spoken, it will come to pass. I never had the bed and say, it's true, I'm not lying. Believe me. <laughs> Jeroboam, believe me. If Jeroboam was one of the people we have today, I would have gone with a swollen face. I quiz one. <laughs> By the way, it happened in the streets. Yes. I never called Jerobo. I'm into a private meeting. Mm -hmm. It happened in the streets. Yes, yes. But the yes. generals of that, that day, day, they knew yes. the man of God, God will never speak from his own hunger or from his desire to be recognized. Okay. He speaks okay. when he hears from God. Yes. Let's yes. leave it. So Jeroboam reigned over the ten tribes. Mm -hmm. The son of Nebat, who was a commoner. <sighs> Solomon died. Mm -hmm. In So there are two men. Um, pastor, who are their names? There are two mm -hmm. kings now in, yes. one, it, in what used to be one nation. Yes. Who are their names and what are their names? Jeroboam and Rehoboam. Jeroboam yes, and is the king of how many tribes? Of ten tribes. And Jeroboam? Uh, one tribe. <laughs> Between Jeroboam and Rehoboam, <laughs> who is the son of Solomon? Rehoboam. Rehoboam is the king of which nation now? Of Judah. What is the capital city? Jerusalem. So Rehoboam, the son of yes. Solomon, yes. is now king of Judah. Yes. And he is reigning in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm where the temple that Solomon built was. Yes. And Jeroboam, Brother Nelson, yes, sir. where was he? Yeah, Jeroboam was ruling uh, the other ten tribes. Yes. yes. And whose capital city was uh, to become Samaria later on. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we, why we want to read chapter 16. Yes. Because that's where the word Samaria originated from. Yes. So after Jeroboam died, his son Nadab came in. After Nadab, there was Basha. After Basha, there was Ila. After Ila, there was Zimri. Mm -hmm. And after Zimri was uh, Omri. Mm -hmm. So there was Zimri, who, who just ruled for a few days. Mm -hmm. yes. And then there was Omri. Mm -hmm. Zimri is the one whose name was mentioned there mm -hmm. by, remember, who is that? By Jezebel, yeah, by Jezebel yes. in chapter 9, who said he had Zimri peace, who slew his master. Who slew his master. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we know what happened. Omri, the king who took over from Zimri, is the father of Ahab, the husband of Jezebel. Mm -hmm. um, let's read First Kings, First Kings chapter 16. We want to find out how we come up with Samaria. Verse 20. Now the rest of the acts of Zimri and his treason that he wrote, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? Then were the people of Israel divided into two parts. Half of the people followed Tibni, the son of Jinnah, to make him king, and half followed Omri. But the people that followed Omri prevailed against the people that followed Tibni, the son of Jinnah. So Tibni died and Omri reigned. In the so Zimri killed Ela. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ela, the king of Israel, who took over from Basha. Yes. yes. Zimri killed Ela. Mm -hmm. 
mm. who had taken over from Bash. Yes. Mm-hmm. So Zimri, after Zimri's um, uh, insurrection mm. yes. or coup d'etat, mm-hmm. yes. people divided yes. in this kingdom yes. of Israel. Israel. We are not talking about Judah here. Yes. 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 And then what happened? Read, read verse number 20 again. Verse 20 says, Now the rest of the acts of Zimri and his treason that he wrote are they Of not course, written? according to the book, yes. Zimri committed a treason yes. by killing the king. Yes. Yes. Are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? Yes. Then were the people of Israel divided into two parts. Yes. Half of the people followed Tibni, the son Tibni. of Tibni. Yes. To make him king. Yes. And half followed Omri. But the people that followed Omri prevailed against the people that followed Tibni. Tibni, the yes. son of Jina. Yes. So Tibni died. Tibni died. Reigned. What happened to Tibni? And Omri reigned. Omri reigned, yes. Yes. In the 30 and first year of Asa, king of Judah, began Omri to reign over Israel. Yes. Twelve years, six years reigned he in Judah. Twelve years? Yes. Read again. Twelve years. Yes. Six years reigned he in Tiza. Yes. And he bought the hill Samaria of Shema for two talents of silver and built on the hill and called the name of the city which he built after the name of Shema, owner of the hill Samaria. Yes, yes, yes. Verse number 24 again. And he bought the hill Samaria of Shema for two talents of silver and built on the hill and called the name of the city which he built after the name of Shema, owner of the hill Samaria. Ah, but Omri wrote evil in the eyes of the Lord and did worse yes. <laughs> than all that were before him. Yes. <laughs> For he walked in all the way of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and in his sin wherewith he made Israel to sin, yes. to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger mm-hmm. with their vanities. Yes. 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 So I'm happy because we have explained the origin of Samaria. Samaria, mm-hmm. Samaria was a hill mm-hmm. that was owned. Yes. But it was called Shema. Mm-hmm. You see now. Yes. Uh, the Bible says, and he bought the hill Samaria of Shema mm-hmm. for two talents. So yes. the owner of Samaria was Shema. Mm-hmm. But when he bought it, yes. Omri, the father of Ahab, yes. called it Samaria. Yeah. Yes. You see now. Mm-hmm. Yes. He bought. Yes. They used Samaria of Shema yes. for two talents. Yes. And after he built it, he called it Samaria. Mm-hmm. So when we say the Samaritan woman, mm-hmm. we are saying the woman of Samaria. Mm-hmm. Yes. We are, we are calling it what? The woman mm-hmm. of Samaria. Samaria. That is why we are calling her the, the Samaritan yes. woman. Yes. yes. So when we come back, we are going to look into this matter mm-hmm. and continue to discover who is or what mm-hmm. is Sam- Samaria. Samaria. Yes. Mm-hmm. How do we come up with the Samaritan woman? There is a very important history and background to this matter, but Let's do a tete a tete and find out how much you have grasped mm-hmm. and how far you are with us. Yes. And when we come back, there are now quite a few scriptures which we are going to look at. Very exciting. Stay with us.
Welcome back, uh, Pastor. Uh, could you please read First uh, Kings sixteen twenty five? But maybe before you do that, Brother Nelson will read First Kings twelve from verse number uh, from verse twenty five again. We just want the people to have an idea of why God divided the kingdom of Israel into the kingdom of Israel and Judah. Mm -hmm. We want this language to be common. Mm -hmm. We had one nation, which was called Israel. It was divided by God through Ahijah the prophet mm -hmm. into the kingdom of Israel and the kingdom of Judah. Judah, who used it to be one tribe, mm -hmm. is no longer a tribe. It's mm -hmm. now a nation mm -hmm. whose capital city is Jerusalem. Yes. And Israel is now a different kingdom mm -hmm. who is, whose capital city is Samaria. But Samaria was established by uh, Omri. Mm -hmm. By whom? Omri. By Omri. Yes. Omri, who took over from Zimri, mm -hmm. who had committed treason by killing King Ela. Um, so what happened in Israel? So when you mentioned the word Israel, you have to explain, are you talking about the pre-split kingdom or the post-split kingdom? Mm -hmm. Those are two different Israel nations. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about Israel before it split into two kingdoms, mm -hmm. which was reigned over by only three kings? Mm -hmm. So, David and Solomon. Mm -hmm. After Solomon, the split happened. Mm -hmm. We now have Israel and Judah. Mm -hmm. So, the Israel that we now have after the split incident mm -hmm. is a totally different nation. It is a wicked nation. Mm -hmm. It has never heard God. It has never listened to God. Mm -hmm. So, the Samaritan woman begins or originates from this split we are talking about. Mm -hmm. the Samaritan woman. Yes. She is not the Samaritan woman because of Saul, David, or Solomon. Mm -hmm. No, it is beginning with Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. Mm -hmm. Let's go into uh, the character of Jeroboam and the relationship between the post-split Israel and God. Yes. Of course, the first king of the post-split Israel is Jeroboam, yes. the son of Nebat. Yes. Yes, first Kings 12 from verse 25. Yes. Then Jeroboam built Shechem in Mount Ephraim and dwelt therein, and went out from thence and built Peniel. And Jeroboam said in his heart, now shall the kingdom return to the house of David. Yes. If these people go up to do sacrifice in the house of the Lord at Jerusalem. Yes. Then shall the heart of the of these people turn again to their Lord. Yes. Even unto Rehoboam, king of Judah. Yes. And they shall kill me and again and go again to Rehoboam, king of Judah. So God God causes this this heavy language mm -hmm. to just sift those who really want to learn God yes. mm -hmm. and those who just want to waste time mentioning the name of the Lord in vain. You then say, but why would God cause the same time two nations to have kings whose names are almost the same? <laughs> huh? How can we have Jeroboam, the king of Israel, yes. and Jeroboam, the king of Judah? Mm -hmm. huh? At some point you find you find uh, people like uh, uh, Joash, king of Israel, mm -hmm. Joash, king of Judah, mm -hmm. huh? Ahazia, king of Israel, <laughs> Ahazia, king, king of, of Judah, Judah. Mm -hmm. jo 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 Joram, king of Israel, Joram, king, king of Judah. Judah. Mm -hmm. and, and you wonder, mm -hmm. why, why would such things happen? <laughs> That's sometimes how God hides it's the gospel yes. or your heart from the gospel. Mm -hmm. It takes great grace yes. to sift through this maze, mm -hmm. this very, very uh, 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 intertwined, heavy uh, scripture 
yes. to come up with sound understanding. Yes. Ruku itiri wei. Izo jimu mazata kugo na kupaza nyura robo amna jirobo amna. Anzi jirobo amna jirobo amna doku pizu ya. Mwana wane batidia ni baba. Jirobo amna ni jiri. Ezo nzae wa. So when Jerobo am son of Nebat took all, took the throne yes he said the problem with my kingdom is there is no temple mm -hmm. in Israel the temple <laughs> is in Judah yes my problem is every time okay. sabbath mm -hmm. people are going to travel to Judah to the temple mm -hmm. which Solomon had left yes. to worship mm -hmm. in the process of time mm -hmm. they are going to ask themselves what use is it to go back to Israel? Mm -hmm. There is no temple there. Mm -hmm. So they will turn against me mm -hmm. and they will kill me. Yes. This whole idea of going to Jerusalem mm -hmm. to worship, it's yes, not it's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's, let's, let's listen to verse 27. Yes. What Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, said apparently mm -hmm. in his heart. Yes. And when you listen to the Samaritan woman in John 4, 20, mm -hmm. you sense Yes. The same Jeroboam sentiments <laughs> in the Samaritan woman's voice. Yes. The, our fathers worshipped in this mountain. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. Jews say, say in Jerusalem yes. is the place where yeah. yes. men ought to worship. Yes. yes. It's, it's the same issue. Yes. 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 Major. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she actually states that she knew. That Jerusalem is the place of worship. Yes. And it's a, it, it appears like when she said our fathers, she's also mentioning Jeroboam. <laughs> <laughs> because this whole idea of complaining yes. about Jerusalem, yes. it started with Jeroboam. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Yes. Is this, are these not Jeroboam's words yes. from yeah, the Jeroboam's Samaritan words. woman? Yes. Let's find out what Jeroboam said in his heart. Yes. If these people go up to do sacrifice in the house of the, of the Lord at Jerusalem. Yes. Then shall the heart of these people turn again unto their Lord, even unto Rehoboam king of Judah. And they shall kill me and go again to Rehoboam king of Judah. Whereupon the king took counsel and made two cows of gold. The, the king now is Jeroboam. Yes. He made two cows of, he made, he came up with an idea. Yes. Mm -hmm. Madulini says the Samaritan woman was a well schooled apologist. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> she reads it from theological <laughs> history. Yes, yes. <laughs> Two cows of God. What did he do with them? And said unto them, and, and said unto them, it So is Jeroboam is now talking to the ten tribes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yes. It is too much for you to go up to Jerusalem. Behold thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And he said the one in Bethel and the other put he in Dan. Yes. And this thing became a sin for the people went to worship before the one even unto Dan. You see where the, yes. where the golden cows were put? Mm -hmm. Yes. At Bethel yes. and at Dan. Dan. Yes. And it became a sin. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's one. And he made, a, he made a house of high places and made priests of the lowest of the people, which were not of the sons of Levi. He disregarded the true men of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he took squirrels and <laughs> mongooses <laughs> and, 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 and the rabbits. And he said, well, <laughs> you are now men of God. Honey <laughs> <laughs> uh, badgers yeah. and lowest. foxes. Yes. He took the lowest yes. of all the people. Yes. Those with the most shallow knowledge yes. about God. Yes. Yes. He called them priests. Mm. <laughs> so, heretic churches flourished in the days of Joroba. Johan Masowe Emarange, Johan Masowe Echishanu, PhD, Apostle of the Kwawimbo, Zion Church. You can see yes. people with the most shallow knowledge yes. about God. Yes. UFI. <laughs> Those are the the people that are now promoted <laughs> by Jeroboam. Yes. So you are going to see him coming to church as well. Yes. Verse 32. And Jeroboam ordained a feast in the eighth month. Israel observe, observed the Sukkoth in the seventh month. Yes. He changed the calendar of yes. the Israelites. Yes. 
according to the law. He just yes. started changing the law of God. Yes. Mm. And ordained a feast in the eighth month, on the fifteenth day of the month, like unto the feast that is in Jerusalem. And he offered upon the altar. Like so, unto the feast that is in Judah. Yes. And he offered oh. up upon the altar. Mm -hmm. so, Who offered upon the altar? Jeroboam. The king took a, <laughs> he appointed a, a, a tailor. Yes. And the king was the, the tailors made an, a garment for mm. the king. Akafeka effort Jeroboam. Akatoka zero yake forogo so akataka kupisa nyama pa altar. Yes. Yes. So ah, did yeah. he in Bethel sacrificing unto the cows that he, he had made. He made a calf and he sacrificed upon it. <laughs> he made a goat <laughs> and he knelt down on that goat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like our president, <laughs> he made a statue and he took off his shoes and he bowed it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine. machine. street. machine. machine. Output <laughs> 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 Yeah. So he made a calf and then he said he, he stooped down mm -hmm. to bow down before it. Mm -hmm. He said, This is our God. Yes. And you don't understand why people always aid and mm -hmm. they want they used gold mm -hmm. in making something that is an abomination. Yes. The combination between something abhorred by God, mm -hmm. something very abominable to God, mm -hmm. something that, 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 that God doesn't want to even entertain, mm -hmm. filthy. Yes. They use the most expensive equipment. equipment. They use a lot of money mm -hmm. to do something that is filthy before God. Mm -hmm. If it was used, made up of brass or silver or copper, it would be better. Common iron. They used gold mm. to make a molten calf, mm. to worship it. The idea is to mesmerize you yes. with all that radiance of God. Mm -hmm. You are going to think, but could it be wrong? Look at how organized they are. Mm. Look at the value of their speakers. Mm. Look at the quality of their sound. Mm. It's gold, yes. but it's a plate of gold. Inside that plate, mm -hmm. it is full of feces. Mm. If you are not careful, you are going to say it is smelling good. <laughs> In China, you can put it in the garbage. You can change it. This garbage can only be taken to the rubbish bin. Yes. As beautiful as this golden cow for us. It was a filthy before God. Yes. There are so many churches which are trying as much as possible to appeal mm -hmm. with a very, very uh, 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 beautiful appeal to the people. Mm -hmm. They use very good decorative material, very well presentable, very well organized. Mm -hmm. But what they are organizing yes. is a filthy before God. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Look yes. at the prostitutes in the B.I.O. They dress yes. well. If there are women who know how to dress, it's a prostitute. Mm -hmm. But what they are dressing <laughs> is a filth. <laughs> An expensive dress put mm -hmm. on covering filth, yes. covering debt, mm -hmm. covering disease mm -hmm. yes. and shamelessness. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he did in Bethel, sacrificing unto the calves that he had made. Yes, mm -hmm. and he placed in Bethel the priests of the high places which he had made. Yes. 
So he offered upon the altar which he had made in Bethel the fifteenth day of the eighth month, even to the even in the month which he had devised in his own heart. He had or, devised of his own heart yes. and ordained a feast unto the children of Israel. And he offered upon the altar and bed in sense. Yes. Let's skip scriptures, chapter 13, verse 33 and 34. After these things, this thing Jeroboam returned not from this from his evil way. Jeroboam kept his evilness, mm -hmm. but wickedness. Me, yes. So this is the nation of Israel. Yes. Whenever we hear the word Jeroboam, mm -hmm. let's consider this statement addressing the ten tribes, yes. the whole nation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Israel continued mm -hmm. in the evil way, but Israel was led by Jeroboam into this wickedness. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm but made again of the lowest of the people priests of the high places, whosoever would, he, he consecrated him, and he became one of the priests of the high places. Now, if you look at the word would, yes. it means whoever wanted. Yes. <laughs> Jeroboam never <laughs> asked if people are called by God. No. Yes. <laughs> he just read a recommendation, go to Bible college, you will mm -hmm. be a priest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you feel like you have a calling? <laughs> have you seen anything? Have you felt anything? I don't know. 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 I Speak slowly <laughs> with emphasis. <laughs> Put a white collar on your neck mm. and wear a, a neck chain with a cross. Mm. Mm. You are a man of God. You are a man of God. When we do a, a prayer meeting, we will yes. call you. Just understand, just two scriptures or three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yes. will be a man of whosoever wanted. Mm. Jeroboam consecrated him. Yes. Imagine being consecrated by a man like Jeroboam. Mm. What kind of consecration is this? <laughs> I think the word consecration cannot <laughs> apply to Jeroboam and Israel. Consecration. <laughs> Imagine how Jesus was consecrated by Lucifer. Verse 34. And this thing became sin unto the house of Jeroboam, <laughs> even, un, even to cut it off and to destroy it from off the face of the earth. All right, so let's, let's end here. Ah, so this Jeroboam. is this, <laughs> this is Jeroboam. Yes. So this is how Israel mm -hmm. became the wicked nation. Yes. So what we now have is, we now have uh, a wicked nation mm -hmm. and a holy nation. Yes. When God <coughs> divided these two kingdoms, he wanted to make Judah a holy nation mm -hmm. and to protect Judah mm -hmm. by constantly referring yes. to the wickedness of Israel. Mm -hmm. yes. So the re relevance of this split mm -hmm. is holiness mm -hmm. and wickedness. Mm -hmm. yes. So when you remember when we did part part A or part twenty two A, mm -hmm. or uh, we 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 showed you why the gospel should have begun at Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and we said Jerusalem was the beacon of light. Mm -hmm. It is going out to reach out to places which are in darkness. Mm -hmm. That's why Samaria is not the first, or Samaria is not the place of origin. Mm -hmm. It is because of this. There is no righteousness. Yes. It should go to Samaria yes. from Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. So when we look at chapter 16, verse 25, you now see that each time a king arises in Israel who is wicked, the, the standard of wickedness mm -hmm. is Jeroboam, yes. the son of Nebat. Yes. It's either you do like Jeroboam mm -hmm. or you do worse than Jeroboam mm -hmm. or you do less or more than Jeroboam. Mm -hmm. Worse than Jeroboam or better than Jeroboam. Mm -hmm. Omri, what did he do? Chapter 16, verse 25. Yes. To 26. But Omri wrote evil in the eyes of the Lord. Omri did evil in the eyes of the Lord. <laughs> and did worse than all 
that way before him. Yes. <laughs> yes. For he walked in all the way of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, and in his sin wherewith he made Israel to sin, to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger with their vanities. Omri did exactly as Jeroboam did. Yes. Did he pass the threshold of Jeroboam? No. He kept the standard. Yes. If Jeroboam is a speed limit, <laughs> if it is 120 k's per hour, yes. Omri kept the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at Ahab, yes. 1 Kings 22, verse number um let's let's look at um let's look at uh Jehoshaphat. Mm -hmm. um let's let's read verse 49 okay. yes and okay 49 yes then chapter said, 1 verse 20, chapter 22 verse 49 yes then said Azia the son of Ahab unto Jehoshaphat yes let my servants go with with thy servants in the ships but Jehoshaphat would not and Jehoshaphat slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers yes Jehoshaphat Akafa Chichagazuitika yes he was buried with his fathers he was buried yes. David, his yes. father yes and Jeroboam his son reigned in his stead Jehoram, Jehoram, mm. and, Jehoram. Yes, and Jehoram, his son, reigned in his stead. Yes. Ahaziah, the son of Ahab, began to reign over Israel in Samaria, the 17th year of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, and reigned two years over Israel. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord, and walked in the way of his father, and in the way of his mother, and in the way of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, <laughs> who made Israel to sin. Okay, read the last part again. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord, and walked in the way of his father, and in the way of his mother, and in the way of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. This was Ahaziah, the son of Ahab. Yes. Let's look at Ahab himself, chapter 21, 25. Yes. But there was none like unto Ahab, <laughs> which did sell himself to work wickedness in the sight of the Lord. Yes. Whom Je Jezebel, his wife, stirred him up. So, stirred up. yes, you can see now, uh, mm. Brother Nelson, yes. that Ahab, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Ahab exceeded the limit. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. There was none like, like Ahab. Ahab which did sell himself to work wickedness in the sight of the Lord. In the sight of the Lord. Whom Jezebel, his wife, stayed up. Who oh, was a guy to say, I drive, wow. I caught Zongwa. I was all there, which is staying where I caught Zongwa. I kurungwa ni azima eva ke. Kana kurungwa obuda ono ita wickedness. Kana kupera zunguri ya ozoka o kot zongwa odaro. Kurora kuna kushata. But our final rules it am God's anushi kapalevo im Yes, yes. Uh, so why why are we doing this? We wanted Israel. Yes. We wanted believers to understand mm -hmm. that the moment these kingdoms divided into two, yes, mm -hmm. and became individual kingdoms, mm -hmm. we are not going to expect anything good from Israel. Yes. There was a time when the king of Israel ganged up with the king of, Is Syri of Syria mm -hmm. to attack Judah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's how wicked this kingdom became. Yes. You yes. would find the king of Israel, Israel. joining affinity with the king of Syria yes. to go to war with the, with the kingdom of Judah. Mm. They are brothers. Yes. Yes, they are brothers. But I would not want you to be ignorant as well how that um, this situation, the division or the split of this kingdom into two, mm -hmm. which happened in or from First Kings chapter 11, mm -hmm. God had given a prophecy yes. of, these, of this division mm -hmm. in the days of David. Mm -hmm. um, when we read Second Samuel, um, 
verse number 2 Samuel chapter 2 verse 8 when David became king, yes. he didn't reign for 40 years over the whole nation. Yes. Mm -hmm. For the first seven years, six months mm -hmm. yes. of David as a king, yes. mm -hmm. he was a king only over the house of Judah. Yes. The other ten tribes were mm -hmm. given to Ishbosheth mm -hmm. by Abner, mm -hmm. the son of Ne, yes. who was the army commander of the late king So. Mm -hmm. It's said there in verse 8, yes. Yes. But Abner, the son of Ne, captain of Saul's host, took Ishbosheth, the son of Saul, and brought him over to Mahanaim. Yes. And made him king over Gilead, and over the Asherites, and over Jezreel, yes. and over Ephraim. And over Benjamin. Yes. And over all Israel. Over all Israel, Ishbosheth yes. was king. Yes. Yes. And Ishbosheth's sole son was 40 years old when he began to reign over Israel. Israel. Younger to Israel. It's not Judah. It's not David. <laughs> yes. Imagine people yes. having a king who is not anointed by God. Yes. Mm. We want to find out how many years it was mm -hmm. Israel being reigned over yes. by a man who comes from nowhere. Mm -hmm. His only advantage yes. was that the army general was on his side. Mm -hmm. Let, let's start from verse 8. Abna is the is the man who made him king, yes. <laughs> We had opened the second Samuel chapter 2. Yes. And I just want to read verse 4 and then we shall hear the reading of verse 8 up mm. to verse 10. Yes. Verse 4 says, And the men of Judah came, and there they anointed David king over the house of Judah. So I just want to read verse 4. A. Mm. We were mm. saying, when David became king yes. for the first uh, um, seven years, six months. Mm -hmm. He was king over just Judah. Yes. And for the last 33 years, mm -hmm. he was king over the nation, nation. of Israel. Yes. That included the ten, ten tribes. tribes. Yes. So we had said this is mm -hmm. when God indicated prophetically, mm. yes. that he wanted to split the kingdom mm. into two kingdoms mm -hmm. where the ten tribes are going to be on their own as a kingdom mm -hmm. and God was going to appoint a king over the house of Judah mm -hmm. so that the house of Judah can be separated unto holiness. So we, we continued tracing the relationship between the post-split nation of Israel with God. Yes. And we saw it was a sour relationship. Mm -hmm. The nation of Israel became constant in living in idolatry, forsaking God, worshipping idols and pursuing their lust and disregarding the law of God. But then the first king of the post-split Israel had set a standard of wickedness against whom every other incoming king was measured in not in respect of 
how much he feared God, mm. but in respect of how wicked he became, mm. like Jeroboam, mm. the son of Nebat. Mm. And when we looked at Ahab, we saw that Ahab even exceeded the boundary. Mm-hmm. The Bible says in chapter, in First Kings 21, yes. it says, well, the Ahab was stayed in verse 25, but there was none like unto Ahab, yes. which did sell himself to work wickedness in the sight of Lord, the Lord, whom Jezebel, his wife, stayed up, and he did very abominably mm-hmm. in following idols, Yes. According to all things, as did the Amorites, yes. whom the Lord cast out before the children of Israel. Yes. We look at abominations. Mm-hmm. These are the things that Israel was now doing. Mm-hmm. So, yes, the kingdom split in First Kings chapter 12. Mm-hmm. But God had showed them that he wanted the kingdoms to split. Yes. So many years before it happened, mm-hmm. when, or oh, well, it happened when David became king. Yes. Yes. He actually reigned for seven and a half years mm-hmm. over one tribe of Judah. Mm-hmm. Where was the ten tribe? Where were the ten tribes? Yes. The answer is in Second Samuel two eight to ten. Mm-hmm. Yes. But Abner, the son, the son, the son of Ne, captain of Saul's host took Ishbosheth the son of Saul and brought him over to Mahanaim and made him king over Gilead and over the Asherites and over Jezreel and over Ephraim and over Benjamin and over all Israel. And Ishbosheth's son, son was 40 years old when he began to reign yes. over Israel and reigned two years. But the house of Judah followed David. Mm. And the time that David was king in Hebron over the house of Judah was seven years, six months. Yes. So these are not things we are making up. <laughs> Second Samuel 5, 1 says, Then came all the tribes of Israel to David and to Hebron. This was after Ishbosheth had died. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. And spake, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. Mm-hmm. Also, in time past, when so was king of us, thou wast he that laidest out and broughtest in Israel. And the Lord said to thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be a captain over Israel. So all the elders of Israel came to the king to Hebron. And King David made a league with them in Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed David king over Israel. Mm -hmm. David was 30 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 40 years. In Hebron, he reigned over Judah seven years and six months. Mm -hmm. And in Jerusalem, he reigned 30 years and and three years over all Israel. And Judah. Mm-hmm. So Second Samuel 5 5 is not a scripture to forget. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's a scripture that makes the same sentiments mm-hmm. as Second Samuel chapter 2, mm-hmm. verse 8 to 11. Mm-hmm. Israel even had is this preliminary split mm-hmm. in the days of David. Yes. For seven years, six months, yes. David was king only over Judah. But after he came to Jerusalem from Hebron, the king, the, the ten tribes came to G- David, made league with David, and David became king over them as well. So David was not a king over Israel for 40 years. He was a king over Judah for 40 years. Mm-hmm. But he was a king over the ten tribes for 33 years. Yes. What a scenario. Mm-hmm. What an exciting development. <laughs> Just to think about it, yes. that our Lord yes. was here on earth for 33, 33 years. <laughs> yeah. You see? Yes. Mm-hmm. And after he rose from the dead, mm-hmm. the gospel then was preached by the apostles, starting from mm-hmm. Jerusalem, yes. in all Judea, mm-hmm. and in, in all Samaria, Samaria, and unto the all 
unto the uttermost part of the earth. Yes. Oh, yes. Which means for 33 years, mm -hmm. our Lord only dealt mm -hmm. with Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. But when he rose from the dead, mm -hmm. he then commissioned the gospel mm -hmm. to be preached from there going outward. Yes. So uh, Israel, Jerusalem became the epicenter mm -hmm. of the gospel. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it went to all Judea, to all uh, Samaria, and mm -hmm. then to the uttermost the part of the earth. Mm -hmm. So when David took over, this Acts chapter 1 verse 8 instruction mm -hmm. was also uh, acted out in a drama. Mm -hmm. It's a prophecy. Well, he was in Hebron for seven years, six, six months, months, and he was king only over mm -hmm. Judah. Judah. Of, and then he came to Jerusalem mm -hmm. and he became king over all Israel yes. for 33 years. Yes. What a, what, what, what a, a, a prophecy. What a scenario. Mm. So you then see that um, if you look at our Lord, um, he was hidden mm -hmm. in Galilee for 30 years. Yes. And then he started preaching. Mm -hmm. When he started preaching, mm -hmm. he dealt with Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and then he must needs go, go through, through Samaria. Samaria. Yes. And then from there, the gospel <laughs> was going to go to the outer most parts of the earth, yes. that is, even mm -hmm. to the Gentiles. Yes. Who or what is Samaria? Mm -hmm. The Samaritan woman mm -hmm. is the prominent story in John chapter 4. Mm -hmm. We can't describe, we can't learn, we can't dig deep into what happened in John 4 mm -hmm. without knowing what is Samaria, oh, yeah. who is Samaria, yes. who are the Samaritans. Mm -hmm. So far, the Samaritans are the ten tribes. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. It's clear, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. They are the ten tribes. Mm -hmm. Samaria is the capital city, or what used to be the capital city mm -hmm. of the post-split nation of Israel, mm -hmm. which focuses on abominations, yes. which focuses on ignoring God, mm -hmm. which focuses in increasing sin. Mm -hmm. So when our Lord spoke to the woman and said, we know what we worship. Mm -hmm. Do you know what, do you see now the picture? Yes. Yes. What did he yes. say? He said in yes. verse 21, we know from verse 21, he said, well, we know what we worship. Yes. yes. Read verse 21, Jesus said unto her, yes. Woman, yes. believe me, the hour cometh when, we sh when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Yes. Ye worship, you know not what. Yes. We know what we worship. That's the For thing. salvation is of the Jews. Salvation is, is of, of the, the Jews. Jews. You see, Pastor, yes, it sir. now gets clearer, right? Yes. Having understood the golden calves that Jeroboam, the son of Nebad, erected, mm -hmm. and he, he, he offered sacrifices to them, <laughs> he told Israel, the ten tribes, Yes. These are the gods that took you out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. You don't need to go to Jerusalem, it's too far. Mm -hmm. The ten tribes said yes, mm -hmm. and they worshipped the golden calves. Mm -hmm. And from then onwards, the ten tribes with their king, they continued to gravitate further and further yes. away yes. from yes. God. Yes. Mm -hmm. You now see why our Lord says to the Samaritan woman, mm -hmm. you don't know I what you worship. worship. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear, it's right? Yes. yes. Having a background yes. of worshiping a golden calf, yes. of course, you mm. don't know what you worship. Mm. When she said, Our fathers worshiped in this mountain, <laughs> the Lord remembered the beginning mm. yes. of Samaria. Mm. The Lord remembered Omri, mm. the father mm. of Ahab, yeah. the king of Israel. Mm. Who did like Jeroboam mm. according to first Kings 20, 16 from verse 25 mm. and 26, especially verse 26. Mm. The one who built Samaria, mm. the one who bought Samaria, the one who established Samaria. Yes. 
He walked in the way of Jeroboam, mm -hmm. the son of Nebat, yes. and in his mm -hmm. sin, wherewith he made Israel to sin, mm -hmm. to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger with their vanities. vanities. Mm -hmm. So when we say the Samaritan woman, mm -hmm. let us remember Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. Mm -hmm. yes. Let us remember the golden mm -hmm. cows. Mm -hmm. Let us remember Omri, yes. who actually brought the word Samaria mm. to Israel. Yes. Mm. Look at what he does. He caused Israel to sin. Mm. These are the fathers that the woman <laughs> was referring <laughs> to. <laughs> when she said, our fathers yes. worshipped in this mountain. Mm -hmm. She was referring to the ten tribes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we worshiping to the idol. The idols, yes. Pastor, you can speak English. You can speak to my. No, she has missed us. You go to the church. She walk out here. I'm sorry, but I'm not mad. Yes. Nekuda go to. You mean you make a walk out here? You go to Korea. Eh. Mu, you want to buy new or to buy new? I'm not sure. I can't grab this. Quarry, we defeat. Mazobenya and Dieter do a capua Vacumana, I go Zaruda, I give a bag. Uno of Mons remove you only as was old to say, and they took anyone whosoever would I go do a Mogatuatima Pastag. And it was working from Gavum, Gavaka to Botanga in Angagas, damn fundis. Mwanto tindi no shopera kana usingade zvokushopera ndokuporo vita futi ndino sanganisa zvamangari nezvevadzimu munoto zvitenda ndo madzibaba ari kutaurwa brother no yes that's the setup of samaria and now we can understand what is samaria because of how we have been given the background of their establishment and how they worship when we hear saying our fathers it sounds nice. <laughs> it sounds like she's talking about good men, yes. sober men. She's talking about, about reprobates. <laughs> <laughs> People who were made to sin <laughs> by their fathers, <laughs> by their king. Yes. Major? Yes. <laughs> but this is not all that we should learn. This is not all I just hope we are going to, you know, like I told you, we are not going to be breastfeeding you anymore. Neither are we going to give you the latitude to give you every small detail. We expect you to pick up some of the small detail by, the, by yourselves. Just think about what I've said so far and picture yourself in the place of the Samaritan woman that you are deep in the mires of confusion. Mm -hmm. you, the people whom you are calling fathers, mm -hmm. what they brought you up in, you were raised in, you were raised in religious debt. Mm -hmm. You were raised in confusion. Mm -hmm. You were raised in, in religious occultic practices mm -hmm. that were so distant from the truth. Mm -hmm. But when the truth comes, you still have the energy and the confidence mm. to actually say, you can't actually tell me that I'm lost. I'm not just a sitting idol. Mm. I do have a religion. Mm. I do have a church. Mm -hmm. I do have a man of God mm. who preaches to me. But when you dig deep, when we dig deep into what you are calling a church, mm -hmm. what you are calling God, what you are calling man of mm -hmm. God, God. We discover Jeroboam, mm. the son of Nebat. Mm. We discover the golden idols. Yes. We discover Omri. Omri. We discover Ahab. Yes. We discover Manasseh. Yes. Now, if, if you considered that when we look at the Samaritan woman, mm -hmm. we are looking exactly at ourselves. Yes. This is who yes. we were. Yes. Yes. And yes. then when we discover also how the Lord responded, Mm -hmm. We must learn the patience of the Lord mm -hmm. with empty yes, souls, yes. but which are very loud mouths. Mm -hmm. Talking a lot, but knowing nothing. Yes. Speaking like there's something inside you, mm -hmm. but there's nothing in you. You have zero minus 100%. Minus 100. Mm -hmm. when, we, when we look at how much, how much less 
we know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see when we talked about acquired ignorance, yes. this woman acquired yes. ignorance yes. from a so-called father. Yes. There are times when you said, Well, I hear Apostle Chuenga's message is right, mm. but I don't know if he's going to con- remain consistent. Mm. I'm going to be watching him for the next three months then. before I follow him. <laughs> It appears like you care yeah. about consistency. Mm. But when we look at your church, yes. which you used to go, <laughs> the man flipped the flop <laughs> from one position to another. He never cared about his consistency. <laughs> yes. We don't want to change it. 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 You see now, our fathers. Yes. Well, Pastor Irengui, oh my. we must look at this, this woman, mm-hmm. her background, yes. and realize that this woman's background mm-hmm. is exactly like our background. It's true. Far away it's from true. God, Very far. but also deceived mm-hmm. to believe that we are still close to God. Mm-hmm. You see what we are talking about? Yes. So when, when Ahab took over, when Ahab took over uh, from his father Omri, mm-hmm. like we had mm-hmm. in chapter 21, verse 25 yes. of First Kings. Yes. Ahab did evil. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was none like Ahab. Total fun, all composer, so you know, Zakuna Kaita Saabi. Akuna Kaita Saabi. Because <laughs> I put it up first. It was none like him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> he was While others are saying there's none like Jesus yes. in terms of compassion, yes. in terms of love, mm. in terms of mercy, yes. in terms of grace. Mm-hmm. We must also compose another song <laughs> which says there is none, none like Ahab, Ahab. Mm. which did sell so, himself mm-hmm. to work wickedness mm. in the sight of the Lord. Mm. Hey. Yeah. He is a man who set a new standard mm-hmm. of wickedness. Yes. So Israel continues to get more and more wicked. Mm-hmm. When Ahab died, his son Ahaziah Ahazia. took over. We read about the death of Ahaziah mm-hmm. when we read Second First Kings 22 from verse 49. Mm-hmm. And Ahaziah had a feud with God. Mm-hmm. He wanted to consult Beelzebub, yes. the king of the, the god of Ekron. Mm-hmm. So God killed him. Yes. And because he didn't have a son, mm-hmm. his young brother Joram yeah. took over from him. Yes. You get it? Yes. Yes. And when Joram or Jehoram took over, mm-hmm. God then sent Elijah who failed to anoint Jehu, the mm-hmm. son of Nimshi, yes. to take over from him mm-hmm. as king over Israel. Yes. But then Elijah died uh, and, and, and he was translated because mm-hmm. of God's plan and he was replaced by Elisha, okay. the son of Shaphat from Abel Mehola. Mm-hmm. And Elisha sent a, son, a young man to go and anoint Jehu, the son of Nimshi, mm-hmm. to reign in place of Jehoram, mm-hmm. the son of Ahaziah, mm-hmm. the son of Ahab, the son, son of Omri, Omri, to be king over Israel. Mm-hmm. So Jehu took over, and when Jehu died, his son Jehoaz took over, when Jehoash died, Jehoash took over. From when Jehoash died, his son Jeroboam, there was another Jeroboam who took over from Jehoash in Israel. Mm-hmm. Pastor, you must know, there are two kings in Israel, Israel who are known as Jeroboam. The first Jeroboam is called Jeroboam I. Mm-hmm. He appears in First Kings 11, 12, 13. Mm-hmm. And then Jeroboam Two mm-hmm. is in Second Kings chapter fourteen, mm-hmm. verse sixteen. Mm-hmm. 
when Jeroboam, the son of Jehu, died, mm -hmm. his son Zechariah took over mm -hmm. in Second Kings 15, 8 to 12. When this happened, Zechariah reigned only for six months. What happened is that he misbehaved and, um, and he was killed and he died. Mm -hmm. And then God had committed that he, the sons of Jehu are only going to reign up to the fourth generation. Yes. So after Zechariah died, God replaced the Jehu family mm -hmm. within different uh, individuals. After Zechariah came Shalom. He only reigned for one month, the son of Jabesh, mm -hmm. in 2 Kings 15, verse 10. Mm -hmm. After Shalom, there was Menahem, the son of Gadi, who reigned for 10 years. It's written in 2 Kings 15, 14. Mm -hmm. After Menahem came uh, Pekahia, who reigned for two years. <laughs> it's written in 2 Kings 15, 22 to 23. After Pekahia, um, came Pekah, who reigned for 20 years. He is in 2 Kings 15, 22. Of course, uh, when Pekah here died, Oshia, the son of Ramalia, who reigned, uh, uh, um, who, it, it's Oshia who reigned for nine years. Um, of course, Oshia is is read, recorded his reign in second kings 15 30 to 31 so the disaster that happens happened in israel it happened in the days of peka 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 who took mm -hmm. over from peka here mm -hmm. so we are going to read the rest the whole chapter of second kings 15 <laughs> We are going to look at the Syr Syrian or Assyrian exilic period. Mm -hmm. Whereas the nation of Judah went to Israel to Babylon mm -hmm. in 2 Kings 23 and 24. Mm -hmm. Israel went to exile to Syria mm -hmm. around BCE uh, 740 around BCE 740, that is around 740 years mm -hmm. before the Lord was born. Mm -hmm. That's when Israel went mm -hmm. to exile. Mm -hmm. Judah, on the other hand, mm -hmm. she went to Israel around 500 BCE. Mm -hmm. That's when Judah went to exile. Mm -hmm. Judah went to exile into Babylon, but Israel had already gone to Exile to Syria mm -hmm. 200 years before. Mm -hmm. yeah. The greatest Samaritan phenomenon mm -hmm. was caused not by the split, mm -hmm. by, by, but by the exile. Right. So what we are going to read now is going to improve your understanding for you to realize that when our Lord must needs or must have needed need to, to go through Samaria, Samaria, he wanted to solve a bigger problem mm. than one what we have what i have said so far mm -hmm. a bigger problem the exilic problem yes so you can write in your notebooks the exilic problem mm -hmm. exilic problem exilic problem second kings chapter 15 verse 1 in so the, the kings i have mentioned so far mm -hmm up to Pekah. Yes. I just summarized from where we ended mm. from the days of Omri which we actually looked at in, de in detail in 1 Kings 6, 16 mm. up to 2 Kings yes. chapter 15. Mm. We have gone down to the time of Jehu and we have gone down throughout the children of Jehu and we came to Zechariah, the last son of Jehu mm -hmm. and then we went to uh, 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 Pekka here. Yes. And the one who took over from Pekka here mm -hmm. is Pekka. Mm -hmm. So what we want to look at, we want to see what happened, what caused Israel to go to exile. Yes. Yes. And what happened during that exilic issue? Yes. How did the king of Syria come to 
take all the Israelites, these 10 tribes, mm. they were taken to Syria. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see the Syrian exilic period. Yes. In the, 20, in the 27th year of Jeroboam, king of Israel, Jeroboam, began, king of Israel, yes, became, began Azariah, son of Amaziah, king of Judah, to reign. Yes, yes, yes. 16 years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned two and fifty years in Jerusalem. So he's and, talking about Azariah, the son of Amaziah, yes. Mm -hmm. And his mother's name was Jecoliah of Jerusalem. Let's continue. Remember, we are not concerned about Judah, yes. but this is the narrative of the scripture, so let's keep it on. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, yes. according to all that his father Amaziah had done. Yes. Save that he, the high places were not removed. Yes. The people sacrificed and burnt incense still on the high places. Yes. And the Lord smote the king so that he was a leper unto the day of his death, and he dwelt in a several house. And Jotham, this king's son, was over the house, judging the people of the land. Yes. And the rest of the acts of Azariah. This is Uzziah, the rest of the acts of Uzziah. And all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? Seven. So Azariah slept with his Azariah brothers. is the same who is known as Uzziah. Yes. His actual name is Azariah. Yes. Uzziah came because of his wickedness. Yes. Yes. And they buried him with his fathers in the city of David. Of course, he is talking about the kingdom of Judah now. Yes. yes. And Jotham, his son, reigned in his stead. Eight. In the thirty and eighth, eighth year of Azariah. King Why of we Judah, are talking about Azariah? Yes. We want to know when did Zechariah, the son of Jeroboam, mm -hmm. the son of Jehu, mm -hmm. started to reign? In, in Israel. Israel. Yes. Yes. In the thirty and eighth year of Azariah king of Judah, did Zechariah, the son of Jeroboam, reign over Israel in Samaria six months. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, as his fathers had done. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. Yes, yes, yes. So, so what we, do, we hear now is... Yes. We hear that Zechariah, the son of Jeroboam, yes. mm -hmm. reigned in Israel for six months. Yes. yes. And Shalom, the son of Jabesh, conspired against him and smote him before the people and slew him and reigned in his stead. And the rest of the acts of Zechariah, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. So this was, Zechariah yes. is killed by whom? By Shalom. By Shalom yes. yes. This was the word of the Lord, which he spake unto Jehu, saying, Thy sons shall sit on the throne of Israel unto the fourth generation. And so it came to pass. Shalom the son of Jabesh began to reign in the nine and the thirty and thirtieth year of Uzziah, king of Judah, and reigned a full month in Samaria. Shalom reigned for one month, yes. For Manaim, for Manaim the son of Gadi, went up from T Teza, yes, and came to Samaria and smote Shalom the son of Jabesh in Samaria and slew him and reigned in his stead. Yes, and the rest of the acts of Shalom and his conspiracy which he made, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings. Menahem, of, of course, reigned for ten years. Yes, then Menahem smote Tip Tipsa. Teza, uh, okay. it's Tipsa. Yes. Then man, man I am smote Tipsa. Tipsa, and, yes. Yes. And all that were therein. Yes. And the cost thereof from Tisa, because they opened not to him. Therefore, Therefore smote it and all the women therein that were with child ripped up. Yes. In the nine and thirtieth year of Azariah, king of Judah, began Menahem, the son of God, to reign over Israel, and reigned ten years in Samaria. You see now? Yes. Mm. The word Samaria is now prominent. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have the Samaritan woman. Mm -hmm. And he did it, that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. Lord. Yes. He departed not all his days from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made, made Israel, Israel to, to sin. sin. Yes. Who is the standard? It's yeah. Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. It's Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. Yes. 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 And, and Pooh, the king mm. of Assyria, came against the land. 
and Menahem and Menahem gave Pooh a thousand talents of silver that his hand might be with him to confirm the kingdom in his hand. Yes. And Menahem exact, exacted the money of Israel, even of all the mighty men of mighty men of wealth, of each man fifty shekels of silver to give to the king of Assyria. Yes. So the king of Assyria turned back and stayed not there in the land. So Paul, the king of Assyria, wanted to fight with Israel. Yes. But what happened is Menahem gave him a thousand talents of silver. Yes. And, and he exacted I... people heavily. <laughs> yes. Remember, Omri bought Samaria for two talents. Two talents. Mm. Mm. Menahem gave Paul a thousand. <laughs> so Paul could not fight. He was enticed with money. Yes. Yes. And the rest of the acts of Menahem and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel? 22. And Menahem slept with his fathers, and Pekahia, his son, reigned in his stead. Pekahia, his son, reigned in his stead. In the fiftieth year of Azariah, king of Judah, Pekahia, the son of Menahem, began to reign over Israel in yes. Samaria and yes. reigned two years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. It's always based on <laughs> Jeroboam, yes. yes. But Pekah, the son of Remalia, a captain of his, conspired against him and smote him in Samaria. Pekah, who was a general, yes, he killed his master, his president, in the palace of the king's house, with Agob and Arie. Yes. And with him, 50 men of the Gileadites, and he killed him and reigned in his room. Yes. And the rest of the acts of Pekahia and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel. Yes. 27. In the two and fiftieth year of Azariah, king of Judah, Pekah, Pekah the son of Ramalia, began to reign over Israel in Samaria and reigned 20 years. Pekah. Yes. Peka, 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 peka. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. So, yes, yes, yes. Um, Brother Nelson. Yes. Do you remember how we come to the time of Jehu? Jehu yes. took over from Jehoram, yes, the young yes. brother of Asia, the son of Ahab. Yes. The king of Israel, the son of Omri. Yes. So we were tracing it. From Jeroboam. Yes. Until we are now at Pekah. Yes. Pekah was a, and I'm general to Pekah here. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Pekah here was a son of Menahem. Yes. But because all these guys are mm -hmm. always evil, no one is better. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Pekah rose up and killed his master. Yes. And he reigned. Mm -hmm. But when Pekah took over, he took over when, uh, Azia, who is also Azaria, mm -hmm. was on the throne at his 52nd year yes. as king of Judah. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is also something that amazes. The time that the kings of Israel take on the throne is shorter <laughs> than the time of the king of Judah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because wickedness cannot outlive righteousness. Yes, 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 yes. Even though the kings of Judah are mischievous, mm -hmm. they are not as mischievous as the king of Israel yes, when yes. it comes to sin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Verse 20, 29. In the days of Pekah, king of Israel. In the days of Pekah, mm -hmm. king came, of Israel. Yeah. Came what tic, happened? Came Tiglath Pileser. King Tiglath of Pileser, king of Assyria, came mm -hmm. and took Egeon and Abel, Abel Beth Maka, and Joan and Kadesh and Hazo and Gilead and Galilee, all the land of, and all the land of Naphtali, and carried them captives to Assyria. He took Egeon, yes, mm -hmm. Abel Beth Maka, mm -hmm. and Joan, Janoa, and Janoa. Kadesh. Yes, and, and Janoah and Kedesh and Hazo and Gilead and, and, and Galilee, Galilee and all the land of Naphtali and, and carried, carried them, them captive to, to Assyria. Assyria. Yes. yes. So they are no longer in Samaria. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have gone now where? To, to Assyria. To Assyria. Yes. Which is present day Iraq. Mm -hmm. 
part of Assyria mm -hmm. is present day Iraq. Mm -hmm. And part of Iran. Yes. These guys, the ten tribes, mm -hmm. most of them mm -hmm. are now Assyrians. Yes. Mm -hmm. They were given Assyrian birth certificates mm -hmm. and they were also given uh, places yes. to live. Yes. They were now slaves of Assyria. Mm -hmm. So this is the Assyrian captivity. Mm -hmm. It started around 720, 740 something BCE mm -hmm. up to 721, 719. No definite dates there, but that's mm -hmm. exactly the period when it happened. Mm -hmm. Because this Assyrian captivity did not happen in one day. Mm -hmm. Yes. It was done not just once again. Mm -hmm. It happened also twice, mm -hmm. as we shall see very soon. Mm -hmm. So, these ten tribes are no longer living in Israel. Israel. They are now in Assyria. Mm -hmm. Just like the Jews were taken to Babylon. Mm -hmm. Later, I talked about it. Yes. These ones were not taken to Babylon. Mm -hmm. They were taken to Assyria. Mm -hmm. Let's see this state what happened. And Washia, the son of Ela, made conspiracy against Pekah, the son of Remaliah. After the Assyrian exile, mm -hmm. exilic pressures, yes. Washia, the son of Ela, made a conspiracy against Pekah, the son of Remaliah. Yes. And smote him and slew him and reigned in his stead. Yes. In the 20th year of Jotham, the king of Uz, the son of Uziah. And the rest of the acts of Pekah and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. Now, 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 let's uh, let's end there. If you look at verse thirty-seven, it says, "In the in those days, he was talking about Jotham. Mm -hmm. In in those days, the Lord began to send against Judah." Rezin, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Remaliah, yes. who was actually the mm. king of Israel. Yes. But you must understand that Rezin was the king of Syria mm -hmm. and not the king of Assyria. Yes. The capital city of Assyria is Nineveh, mm -hmm. but the capital city of Syria mm -hmm. is uh, Damascus. Mm -hmm. You see now, yes. we no longer have Assyria right now. All but right. Syria is still there. Yes. Right. Damascus. Mm -hmm. So that's where there was Azael and Ben Haddad, mm -hmm. Syria. When All we right. talk about Tiglath, Pileza, we are talking about Assyria. Assyria. But you must also know that Assyria was stronger than Assyria. Assyria. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's where Assyria was able to conquer a ten tribe the kingdom. Mm -hmm but not Syria. At this point, the king of Syria also paid the tribute okay. to the king of Assyria. Syria. So, the problem with this Assyrian exile mm -hmm. is that the Assyrians took Israeli girls and women to their wives. Mm -hmm. And the Israelites who were now in exile in Assyria mm -hmm. also married the Syrian or the Assyrian women. Mm -hmm. And this is why the tribes, the ten tribes' blood was mm -hmm. defiled. So there is a problem between the Samaritans and the Jews because the Jews view the Samaritans as bastards. Mm -hmm. They are defiled tribes. That's why the Samaritans would do not give water to the Jews. Mm -hmm. It is no longer an issue of just family feuds. Mm -hmm. It was an issue of holiness. Mm -hmm. The Jews felt better mm -hmm. than the Samaritans. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Samaritans were looked at as um, illegitimate yes. Israelites mm -hmm. defiled and dirty. Va Israeli, va yone kwa neva Judah, seva nave mombre. 
Neguti most of them had someone in their genealogies who was not an Israelite. Either their grandfather was an Assyrian or their grandmother was an Assyrian. Because of that, the Jews looked down upon them. That's why they stopped calling them Israelites and started calling them Samaritans. Because the word Samaria does not originate with Israel. Mm -hmm. It belongs to pagans from which uh, 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 Omri bought this land. Yes. Mm. Omri did not give this land a new name. No. It was called Samaria mm -hmm. even before yes. Omri bought it. Mm -hmm. yes. So to call them Samaritans is somehow condescending mm -hmm. on the part of the Jews. Yes. The Jews condescend over the Samaritans. Mm -hmm. They are part of the ten tribes, mm -hmm. but they don't have clean blood. Yes. Their blood was defiled by dogs. Mm -hmm. So the <laughs> Jews would call them people with dog <laughs> blood in their veins. Mm. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> we have to end this message. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It was because of what was done by Tigla the Pelesa yes. in the days of Pekka. Pekka, who was a general to Pekka here, mm -hmm. um, who was um, the, the, the king from which Pekka took over. Mm -hmm. We see Tigla the Pelesa, Achita Shogutina, Vanava Israel, Navoko Assyria, Sakavaka no Roro, Vaka no Roro, Waiko. Now, the Samaritans also had an argument mm -hmm. that they came back mm -hmm. from the exilic period, okay. which is not really true. Mm -hmm. Some of them, many of them died there. Mm -hmm. There are people, some of them, especially the newborn ones, mm -hmm. who were told that they were of the ancestry of Israel. Mm -hmm. They desired to come back to Samaria. They came back. But they came back after many generations. Mm -hmm. So their coming back to Samaria was a resettling idea. Mm -hmm. The Jews saw them building new houses when they were already married. Some of them came with wives from yes. Assyria, with new wives and new children. Yes. So the Jews said to them, where are you coming from? Mm -hmm. You are defiled. Yes. And don't forget that they also had to, they had an accent an Assyrian accent Assyrian. in their Hebrew uh, language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But when an accent, yes. Syria. Yes. In the days of our Lord, they had become <laughs> bona fide mm -hmm. in terms of their command of the Jewish yes. language. But in the days of their return, mm -hmm. they came back with an, a strange accent mm -hmm. and Jews mocked them mm -hmm. for having an accent. Excellent. Munotora sima Syria si yuko imri wana wa Israel. Imagine nakuti tineva na wedu yoku Zimbabwe wakazari waku Britain. Kana aga zoka kumsha katanga kutora shona. Anu tora shona ni accent ya churum. Kungo ati sijoda atina ukwana. Tutanga kutuwe mura mwana wa yukuta haku kuna churum. Taifanya loto mseka uta haku kuna shona. Hakuna muna nganza haku kudevelopa. Nekugona language in Syria. Mm. It's not development. Yes, yes. It's, it's yes. retrogressive mm. for you to be a master of a foreign language. Kusar waku warozi do not need but Taifani Wakure Kakuya Murava Navedu Kutiwa Kukuna Churungu wasinga kunishona kutu waroza kwa tinga zi kwani se now this is the dangerous uh, thing or period in the history of the ten tribes. Yes. Mm -hmm. God sent them to Assyria mm -hmm. where they warred themselves among the pagans of Assyria and then they defiled their blood. Yes. They started to worship these idols which they used to worship in Samaria. This time around, there was nothing of God anymore. Mm -hmm. There was no prophet rebuking them. There was no law read in Assyria. They go, they went into a full-time life mm -hmm. of idolatry. Paganism 
unrated paganism, mm. unchecked paganism. Mm. Kupinda mu muchi mu mukurara ma upenyu we 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 watazi usina control mm. full time abomination mm. full time sinfulness. Yes. Yes. And checkered and controlled and balanced and restricted paganism mm. and idolatry. This is what God did. God sent Tiglath Pileza mm. to capture them and to send them to Assyria. Yes. Let's now come to the days of Oshia who took over from, from Pekka. Yes. This exile exilic experience mm. did not end with the reign of Pekka. Mm. It was repeated mm -hmm. after Pekka mm. in the days of Oshia, the son of Ela, mm. who took over from, from Pekka, the son of Ramalia. Mm. Chapter 17, verse 1. This will be our last scripture. Um, I wanted to say something when I talked about when I talked about um, the, the Jews speaking Hebrew, the Israelites speaking Hebrew with an Assyrian accent, mm -hmm. which was very laughable. Mm -hmm. yes. Let's look briefly at Acts chapter 6 so that we can see that there was this division. Mm -hmm. There were now Jews who could not speak the, the Hebrew language mm -hmm. properly mm -hmm. because they lived in exile. Yes. Their parents left them in exile. Mm -hmm. So most of them would come to Israel to attend the three major feasts. Yes. They would attend um, they would attend what? They would attend uh, Pesach with, together with Chaga Amazot, mm -hmm. Shavuot, and Sukkot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Chapter 6, verse 1, just verse 1. And in those days... What happened in those days? When the number of the disciples were mult was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews. There arose the murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews. Because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. So if you think the word Grecian there, mm -hmm. it means, it means <laughs> Greeks. <laughs> It's not what is right. talking about. Yes. Mm -hmm. The word Grecian there, yes. it actually means Greek-speaking Speaking Jews. Mm -hmm. Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Greek-speaking Speaking Jews. Jews. Yes. Right. They would not speak the Hebrew language. Right. They only spoke the Greek the language. language. Yes. So they would come right. uh, to Israel, to Jerusalem, mm -hmm. to attend... Um, major holy convocations and go back. Mm. So as they spoke the Greek language, yeah. there are others who spoke different languages. Yes. Now let's go to Acts chapter 2 from verse 1. I just want you to be very clear mm -hmm. that this defilement mm -hmm. of the blood of the ten tribes yes. was mm. heavy. Mm -hmm. Yes. It was heavy. Yes. yes. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. What happened? And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. Yes. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. So it was the day of Pentecost. Pe yes. It was the disciples who were in the upper room. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happened. Yes. And they appeared unto them. Read faster, Pastor. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues, yes. as the Spirit gave them utterance. Yes. Yes. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, mm -hmm. devout men who were dwelling at Jerusalem, <laughs> Jews. Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Yes. <laughs> Look at verse 5, brother. Yes. <laughs> they were dwelling at <laughs> Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Yes. who were attending Pentecost. Yes. Jews, uh -huh. devout Jordan. men, out of, of every, every nation, nation under heaven. heaven. Now, now when heaven. this was noised abroad, mm -hmm. the multitude of Jews, remember, yes. Yes. came together and were confounded. Yes. Because that every man heard them speak mm -hmm. in his own language. language. Mm -hmm. 
And they were, they were amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? Yes. 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 And how here we every man in our own tongue, oh. wherein we were born, <laughs> uh. Parthians, Medes, <laughs> Elamites, <laughs> and the dwellers in Mesopotamia, yes. and in Judea, and Cappadocia, yes. in Pontus and Asia, Phrygia, <laughs> And Pamphylia in Egypt, <laughs> and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene, yes. and the strangers of Rome, Jews and, and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians. Mm. <laughs> so the key scripture there is verse five. Verse five. It really shows us that they were those who really? they were Jews. Yes, mm. yes, out yes. of every nation. Out they of were every speaking nation. All these, uh, so there were Jews they were who come from, from Greece. Greece. Yes, so coming from Parthians, okay. of course, among them are also others who were called the strangers of Rome, yes. mm -hmm. which were also proselytes, mm -hmm. yes. to whom was sold a Jewish, Jewish status. Yes. You would pay a certain amount yes. and be circumcised and be declared a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Acts chapter 2 shows us that you would find uh, Parthians, Medes, Elamites, Mm. Dwellers of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, in Pontus and Asia, you would find Jews mm -hmm. or you would find Israelites. Yes. Yes. Who would actually be speaking an Elamite language, language. Mm -hmm. but, but who would tell you, I'm an Israelite? Yes. Or he would say, I am a Jew? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because when the Jews of Judah mm -hmm. in the kingdom of Judah also were taken into exile, mm -hmm. into Babylon. Babylon. Mm -hmm. They also got scattered. Yes. Mm -hmm. And exile wasn't just done into Babylon. There are other exilic periods which we are not necessarily going to be talking about today. Yes. So this is proof that they are Israelites yes. who live right now in America. Mm -hmm. Yes. They no longer know how to speak Jewish language, language. properly. Mm -hmm. Some of them are taught by parents yes. who never lived in Israel. Mm -hmm. yes. So they speak Jewish language, Hebrew language, mm -hmm. but with an accent. You will find them not understanding <coughs> certain Hebrew words, yes. but they will tell you we are Jews. Jews. Some will say we are Israelites. Mm -hmm. And now the problem is every Israelite today is now saying I am a Jew. <laughs> but that is nonsense. That is actually not correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jews are not Israelites. Yes. Mm -hmm. But now it's it's common, even as sometimes we use the word Jew, Jew. Mm -hmm. to describe all mm -hmm. Israelites. Yes. But it's not correct. It's not, oh, yes. Jews are descendants of, of Judah. Judah. Mm -hmm. Israelites are the ten tribes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Levites will remain Levites. <laughs> <laughs> now for a Levite to say I am a Jew. Jew. Is just trying to use a common word. Mm. But a Levite is not a Jew. Yes. A Levite is a Levite. Levite, Levite is a descendant of Levi. Yes. Jews are descendants of Judah. Judah. And, Israelites. And, and they are descendants of Judah. And they are inhabitants of oh. the kingdom of Judah. Yes. Right. Jews are descendants of Judah. Judah. And inhabitants, inhabitants of, of the, the kingdom, kingdom of Judah. Judah. Yes. For the avoidance of doubt and, and for clarity's sake, I would want to remind you that by the time our Lord was born, there was no more kingdom of Israel and kingdom of Judah anymore. Mm -hmm. They were conquered before our Lord was born. Yes. They were now territories, territories that were under the annexation of the emperor of Rome. Mm -hmm. Israel was a colony of Rome. That's where we have Pontius Pilate is the tetrarch of Judea. Mm -hmm. and, and Herod Antipas is the tetrarch of Galilee. Let this be clear as well. Yes. You see, mm -hmm. we have Philip Antipas, the tetrarch of Edomia. Mm -hmm. Those are other issues. Yes. But Akuna Mambo, my Madeza Kajarwe, Shawe Dukakusina Mambo, Vanuava Tovaranda. So, what happens in the days of Pekka mm -hmm. was yes. repeated again when Shalom took over. Yes. It was Shia. 
Let's read chapter 17, verse 1. Yeah. So, Penka dies, Oshia takes over. Yes. These, yeah. Those who are in exile in Assyria are not to beg. Mm -hmm. They are still in, in exile. Yes. Mm -hmm. Their blood has been defiled. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the twenty. In the twelfth year, in the twelfth year of Ahaz, king of Judah, began Oshia the son of Ela to reign in Samaria over Israel nine years. Yes, and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, but not as the kings of Israel so that were before him. So, just hold on, past, uh, brother Nelson. Yes. So, if you look at the scripture now, mm. I just want to just make a brief comment about. Defilement of blood. Yes. The exilic defilement. The exilic defilement, yes. yes. Um, it also affects us in a different context. Mm -hmm. We are not allowed to defile ourselves mm -hmm. with the blood of strangers. Yes. Yes. We must be set apart. 2 Corinthians 6 says, What concord in verse 15? Mm -hmm. Let's start from 50, 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Yes. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? Mm -hmm. And what communion hath light with the darkness? Yes. This is the principle yes. that Judah applied yes. when okay. they derided and reviled the Samaritans. Yes. over their impurity. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. defiled themselves by getting into intermarriages with the strangers and pagans. Yes. Mm -hmm. They got fellowship with unrighteousness. Yes. If you go to Deuteronomy 7 mm -hmm. from verse 1 to 9, mm -hmm. God forbade the Israelites to marry daughters from pagan nations. Yes. Mm -hmm. They also were forbidden to allow their sons to marry the daughters of the pagans, mm -hmm. God didn't want them to be defiled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can fellowship with unbelievers yes. for the sake of preaching to them. Mm -hmm. We always have to try mm -hmm. to not defile ourselves yes. with their blood. Yes. Yes. And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Mm -hmm. Or what part hath he that believes with an infidel? Mm -hmm. And what agreement is the temple of God with idols? Mm -hmm. For ye are the temple of the living God. Yes. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God. And they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them mm -hmm. and be ye separate, yes. says the Lord. Mm -hmm. And touch not the unclean thing. Mm -hmm. And I will receive you, mm -hmm. and will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord God Almighty. Mm -hmm. Come out from them, mm -hmm. be ye separate. Mm -hmm. We must be separate. Yes. Mm -hmm. We don't talk like infidels. Mm -hmm. We don't live like infidels. Yes. We don't walk like infidels. Mm -hmm. When we do whatever we do, we must always protect our faith so that we may not mix the blood of infidels and reprobates mm -hmm. with us. Yes. What blood are you talking about? I'm talking about doctrine. Mm -hmm. Whether you are getting married or planning to get married, yes. do not allow pagan practices to be involved in your marriage procedures. Yes. You are defiling yourself with pagan blood. Yes. Are you starting a company? Don't defile yourself with the blood of dogs. Mm -hmm. Be ye separate. Yes. Come out from them. Mm -hmm. But what God did is he sent Tigla the Pilesa mm -hmm. to take them to mm -hmm. join the pagans. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they were defiled. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is what Samaria stands for. Mm -hmm. It stands for defilement, mm -hmm. the mingling of blood. blood. Are you getting this? Yes. yes. Now, Brother Nelson, there is always too much to learn. <laughs> True. I want True. us to read just chapter 15, 2 Kings 15, mm -hmm. verse 29. Mm -hmm. Just verse 29. I want to invite you to observe 
the names of the provinces and cities yes. that Tigla the Pilesa took to Assyria, mm -hmm. in other words, defiled. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the days of Pekka, king of Israel. Pekka was the king. Yes. Came Tiglath Pileser. Tiglath Pileser came. King of Assyria. What did he do? And he took Ijon. He took Ijon. And Abel Beth Maka. Yes. And Jonah. Janoah. Janoah. And Kadesh. And Hazel. And Hazel. And Gilead. And Gilead. And Galilee. And Galilee. All the land of Naphtali. All the land of Naphtali. What did he do with and, them? And carried them captive to Assyria. And Assyria. <laughs> Let's do Christmas. Let's <laughs> all go to Assyria. Let's go to Assyria. Yes. Yes. Let's go to Assyria. <laughs> it Kids. may be worth noting that Assyria and Assyria shared Kids. the same idol. Yes. They all submitted to um what is the name of the Syrian god? Uh which begins with the Ara. Uh it was also borrowed by by the Babylonians, skipping mm. my mind. Raimon. Yes, it's Raimon. Raimon mm. was a very desired god mm. because he was a god of fertility the God of prosperity, mm -hmm. the God of defense. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, most importantly, Raimon was a God of spirituality. Those yes. who wanted to start divination and sorcery, <laughs> Raimon was the best place to start looking. Yes. So, but if we look at what Tiglath Pileser took mm -hmm. and whom he took, yes. he took Ijon, Abel, mm -hmm. Bethmarka, Janoa, Kedesh, mm -hmm. Hazo, mm -hmm. Gilead, and Galilee, mm -hmm. yes. all the land of Naphtali. Mm -hmm. So it means the ten Abel tribes, the tribes which were in Ijon, mm -hmm. were defiled. Mm -hmm. Abel, Bethmaka, defiled. Mm -hmm. Janoa, defiled. defiled. Kadesh, defiled. Mm -hmm. Azo, defiled. defiled. Gilead, defiled. defiled. Yes. Galilee, defiled. defiled. All the land of Naphtali, defiled. Mm -hmm. If you look at Luke 13, 1, <laughs> it says, And they were, pres they were present at that season, mm -hmm. some that told him of the Galileans whose it's blood right. Pilate mingled with it's their it's sacrifices. It's <laughs> the Galileans don't seem to have a reprieve. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone tries <laughs> to... <laughs> with them. Uh, Even the Roman governor mm -hmm. killed Galileans yes. Yes. and mixed their the blood, blood with the blood of sacrifices. Sagatrugo na uti Galilee, aina kumboi tajaganaka. Yes, 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 yes. Read chapter seventeen, brother Nelson. I just wanted you to know yes. that this defilement is a big issue. Yes. True. In the twelfth year of Ahaz, king of Judah, began Oshia, the son of Elah, to reign in Samaria over Israel nine years. After and, Pekah, yes. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, but not as the kings of Israel that were before him. <laughs> Against him came up Shalmaneser, king of Assyria. So after Tiglath Pileser came Shalmaneser. Yes. Shalmaneser said, I haven't tested my military prowess. <laughs> what is the starting point? I will go to Israel. Yes. I will try to loot people and bring them home. Yes. But before you do that, uh, Brother Nelson, yes. I don't know. I just want to <laughs> read this scripture now. <laughs> Matthew chapter 4, verse 12 says, Now when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, mm -hmm. he departed into Galilee. Yes. You see? Yes. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum. Mm -hmm. which is upon the sea coast in the borders of Zebulun and Naphtali, mm -hmm. <laughs> that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Esias the prophet, saying, mm -hmm. the land of Zebulun mm -hmm. and the land of Naphtali, yes. by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee mm -hmm. of the, the Gentiles. Gentiles. <laughs> <laughs> the people which sat in darkness mm -hmm. saw great light. And to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light. 
This is for this spring. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so they were actually in the, there were people who sat in darkness mm-hmm. and also they were in the shadow of death as well. Yeah, those who want to read they might they mm-hmm. might want to read yes. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 1. Mm-hmm. I I just wanted to show you this. Even the prophet Isaiah knew that he said Galilee is defiled. Is defiled. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the people who are in Galilee wh- wh- where exactly are they <laughs> number one they are in darkness yes. number two they are in the region and the shadow of, of death, death. Yes. why why because no one who is clean is in Galilee yes. mm-hmm. it's a defiled land yes That's why Nathaniel in John 1:43 mm-hmm. to 45 yes. he asked can there anything, anything good, good. Mm. come out of Nazareth yes yes I don't know if you still remember what Nathaniel said yes, yes. that's true I don't like know that, uh, mm-hmm. yes. yes yes so these are the reasons why no one expected chipenyu kuda mugariria yes that's why the jews which saw jesus they always looked down on him mm-hmm. is he not from nazareth <laughs> can anything good <laughs> come out of galilee this man is a galilean mm-hmm. and concerning galilee there is no scripture that is a prophecy of the messiah mm-hmm. it's a very very treacherous place yes. because it is a defiled place <laughs> those who live in galilee are of a defiled lineage yes for the sake of time we won't read it but if you are interested i want you to go in your own time to read john 7 from this number 37 to this 43 oh, yes. mm-hmm. an yes. argument uh, ensued there mm-hmm. they were contending over the spiritual uh, uh, origin of our lord mm-hmm. this man must be the christ this man is a great prophet and those who knew scripture said no this mm-hmm. man can never be anything meaningful <laughs> mm-hmm. he comes from galilee yes. mm-hmm. when you say galilee you have brought in tigla the pelesa shaumanesa yes. mm-hmm. nothing good comes mm. out from galilee mm. those who live there are of a defiled mm. blood a very important question which you may want to answer when we do the review yes. why would our lord choose yes. to grow, grow up, up in, in such a place mm. of course he wasn't born in galilee he was, he was born, born in, in judea yes mm. when we talk in respect of provincial mm. uh, uh, significance yes mazona yes You may want to answer this question we will not attack it or attempt it yes we don't have the luxury of such time so when Oshia the son of Ela reigned instead of Peka yes what happened against he, him came he, he, he did evil yes. in the sight of the Lord yes. but not as the kings of Israel mm. that were before him yes. God commanded <laughs> was she for his restraint he was evil but not <laughs> like Ab, yes. not like omri, omri not like peka not <laughs> like peka here yes. no not like zimri <laughs> he was better than jeroboam yes. the standard the standard of course is jeroboam yes. <laughs> the son of nebat yes first three again against him came, came shawmanesa of king of Assyria against Hoshia yes Shaumanesa came yeah and Hoshia became his servant and gave him presents yes and the king of Assyria found conspiracy in Hoshia Hoshia decided I've given too much money to Shaumanesa mm-hmm. <laughs> I will not give him any money I'm going to Egypt mm-hmm. yes. to seek friendship with the king of Egypt yes. so that is so mm-hmm. may come and help me to fight mm-hmm. yes. with Shaumanesa yes mm-hmm. yes for he had sent messengers to so king of Egypt <laughs> and he no that way to so <laughs> just so <laughs> that was the name of the king, king. of Egypt yes. it's not a sauro yes. it's not so. so yes <laughs> <laughs> so the king of Egypt yes. was invited by Hoshia yes. let's join hands 
and fight Shaumanesa, the king of Assyria. I can't defeat him alone. <laughs> He's too big for me. You can see how big Assyria was. Yes. Yes. And brought no present to the king of Assyria. So Shaumanesa refused done. to pay his monthly <laughs> <So> contributions. <cute. laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. And brought no present to the king of Assyria as he had done year by year. Therefore, the king of Assyria shut him out. <laughs> Grand power, we are going to go. Grand power, we are going to go. 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 We are going to Shalmanesa, <laughs> the king of Assyria, yes. Therefore, the king of Assyria shut him up and bound him in prison. Ah, the consequences <laughs> are dire. <laughs> imagine President Edu, where's Gwam Jerry? And now President. Yeah, I can't even see Gwam Jerry. Yeah, I can't even see Gwam Jerry. Yeah, I can't even see Gwam That's why they will tell you that if you don't pay your money, all demons will come, come. back, yes. which they try to, <laughs> to exercise. Yes. So, Oshia is now in prison. Yes. Shaumanesa is angry. He wants <laughs> his money. <laughs> his wife. Then the king of Assyria came up throughout all the land. This time now, yes. unlike what happened in chapter 15, verse 29, yes. Shaumanesa is not capturing a selected a, a number of provinces yes. to take them to Assyria. Mm -hmm. He came throughout all Israel. Yes. Yes. All the land. Yes. Yes. And throughout all the land and went up to Samaria and besieged it three years. Yes. And in the ninth year of Washia, the king of Assyria took, took Samaria. Samaria and carried Israel away into Assyria. And How many times? This is what? The second, second time. time. Yes. The second time Israel is going to exile the, to the same the, country. Yes. Mm -hmm. This time they are going to Assyria. Mm -hmm. But as you shall see this time, Babylon is also under the power oh, of Assyria. Okay. So the territories of Babylon now mm -hmm. belong to Shaumanesa. Yes. So Shaumanesa had grown <laughs> big, <laughs> bigger than Tiglath Pileser. Yes. Yes. And can verse, verse six again. Yes. In the ninth year of Hoshia, the king of East of of Assyria took Samaria and carried Israel away into Assyria. Who was carried into Assyria? And all all Israel. All Israel, yes. All the ten tribes yes. mm -hmm. were taken what? To into Assyria, Assyria. Yes. yes. And placed them in Hala and in Haba by the river. In Habo. In Habo by he the river. He placed Gozan. them in Hala and in Habo by the river of Gozan. Yes. And in the cities of the <laughs> Midians. <laughs> Even Iran. <laughs> was a, 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 a colony of Assyria. Assyria. Yes. Yes, Iran was an yeah. area on called media. Yes. Persia was Iraq. I'm sure you know this. Yes. So, Unengwa Toro, Nema Toro, and South Africa, Monozima, Kugarabupi, Kuzambia. Nika Zamu, they say, don't we say, Rivaro Jam? So, you have to get up to Taurashi. Mujitaura <laughs> Chibemba <laughs> Nechinyanja Chem Zambia. Yes. Yes. But Mujindi Murivara and South Africa. <laughs> Magatuwa was Zimbabwe. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you see. Uh, uh, so right now to ask you who is your spiritual father, father and your grandfather, you don't know. Yes. You say my spiritual father is Magandiwa, he is mm -hmm. in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. He is a spiritual father, my yes. grandfather. Mm -hmm. He is Boateng of Ghana. Ghana. But his great grandfather is Duncan Williams. <laughs> or my spiritual father is in Nigeria, mm -hmm. but my grandfather Brother. is in Ghana. Hey. So, Chungo Sangana, Mne Murivara, and Apana Zuguzita. 
Hapana shikai tu. Muriwara nda bashau manesa. Mune mchiti baba wedu bari kuno ku South Africa, but ze kuru bari ku Ghana, but baba wase kuru mai. Bari ku Kenya, vanonzi kakande. So you can see that when you are so displaced and 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 resettled over and over like that mm. again you lose your language yes. you lose your cultural heritage and mm. your cultural pride yes. you lose your accent you lose your direction yes. you are living in iran yes. but you are a slave of assyria yes. but you belong to, Isra- to israel, israel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but Israeli <laughs> That's why the Jews do not have good words yes. for the Samaritans. Yes, yes. That's... Is it a good thing? Uh, they were confused people. They were confused people. Yes. We it have confused people. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right now, people who follow you, but Angel, mm-hmm. he was once a, 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 a son of Boate. Mm-hmm. So the people who go to Christ's embassy, they would say, Victor Boate is our grandfather. grandfather. Now him and and Boateng a fought mm-hmm. because of uh, Angel's character mm-hmm. and his subscription defaults. Mm-hmm. He now chose Chris. Mm-hmm. He says Chris is his no. new spiritual father. Yes. So Changing the problem spirit. between Chris and Boateng are that they live in different nations. Boateng is a Ghanaian. Chris is a Nigerian. Mm-hmm. So a few years ago, you said my father is a Zimbabwean. Mm. My grandfather is a Ghanaian. Now your grandfather is a Nigerian. Eish. You don't know the explanation behind it. Kumshande <laughs> kupi. <laughs> How? What process do you have? <laughs> yes. By which spiritual fathers <laughs> are changed change. like socks? Yeah. <laughs> what about those who love Boateng who don't mm, love Chris? Chris. Yes. But their spiritual father has chosen the one whom they don't love. <laughs> you are forced to say grandpa to Pastor Chris. Uh, you have never thought in your life that Chris would be your grandfather. Mm, you were content with your yes, first yes, grandfather. grandfather. Mm. Now you have a new grandfather. <laughs> we have never heard it that <laughs> people have new grandfathers. Mm. What kind of language is that? Dina <laughs> Seguru, <laughs> <laughs> so this is the confusion of the Samaritans. Yes. They are very inferior. Yes. And in the process of what I'm saying now is I conclude, you are going to discover that the Samaritan woman was not really denying Jesus our Lord water because she felt she was on a high horse. Mm. But she, she was also confused. confused. These people are used mm. to call us names. Mm-hmm. Now she she's asking herself, is he going to receive my water? Mm-hmm. They usually call us defiled people. Yes. Mm-hmm. If I touch this cup of water and give it to him, mm-hmm. will he receive it? What about my own people who mm-hmm. see me giving him water? What mm-hmm. would they say? Mm-hmm. This is the confusion. Because of all this history. Mm -hmm. But you can also attest our own confusion in the Samaritan woman. Mm -hmm. Our people tell us that we must believe in our culture. There was a God in Africa before the gospel came. We believed in Musikawanu, the rain giver. Mm -hmm. We would do beer brewing ceremonies to appease the gods to ask them for rain and God would hear us. Mm -hmm. They say that. They say these pastors are rejecting their their culture. They love to go to the white man's culture. But you ask them, how did you abandon our culture yourselves Mm -hmm. if it was as good as you say it was? Mm -hmm. Now people are brewing beers for their ancestors. And they are using ingredients bought from the supermarket. Chema and Richards. 
<laughs> Waru tenga bute maspa Dora waru kuti mzimino shika na rero <laughs> Kwa mwanto puta madison chai Wata mzimu wa shika Kwa mwano nwa skadi <laughs> Tenga skadi so Wata mzimu wa shika <laughs> Ika uja ipi yo Makambe yona yo Right now we are talking about people getting married. They say, let's do it in a cultural way. Mm -hmm. They are asking thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. We never ask the money as a dowry in, in, in our African culture. Mm -hmm. Money was never a, a, a medium that people would use to appreciate the parents of your wife. Mm -hmm. That was in our culture. People paid with livestock and grains. Yes. In other instances, they paid with game meat or with the minerals. We never use the money. People are now selling their daughters in the name of appreciating me. They are saying, you must give me money because I sent my daughter to school. She's a graduate. <laughs> Did I ask you to send your daughter to school? Whose job was it? When you and your wife decided to have a child, was I consulted? <laughs> Is it not your job to send your child to school? Is this an investment which you must have a return from? And in the pay graduate last week. And in a kuwa na Maria ke epe isaka yo chano ijigan. Saka di pe Mariangu. Marisi saka yo kinvesita. Arumi wa chuno wa arumi wa kangure la re rao. Wano vuma witi skwa shun shaka pusa shaka da. Akusu kuru ora iku. Katina mborora like that is. Katina mborora like that. Now they are saying mombe zeda anga visa mariachi. Ngoni pisiri ya mari mkua chandu tenga ndega. But there were cultural rights to actually receive those keto in your house. That had to do with worshipping those code vazimu. We have no time to talk about them. The president is taking the oath of office holding the Bible. Since when was the Bible part of our culture? Can't you take the oath of office holding the tail of a beast and say, Nemu square mumbo, dichatunga nika eno shakanaka. Mandi kubata magavu, kana gabare buteso, motora oath of office. Do je kao Jesus. That's not our culture. Yes. It's a confusion, just like the Samaritan mm -hmm. woman. You want to talk about the culture which you don't know anything about. Yes. Anything about. In our culture, Munaro, we pump up a sinner kitchen, you know. Don't go, JD. Is a zoom watch at Mans with the Macambosin's way. Close who's well. Yes. years. Yes. Tambi ya wanu tukumukuwa shantipe mari yangu ya mombe wa mai. Maka mbo zizi wakupi zosu. Kutangari na ambi ya wajitaura ni mkuwa sha. Ayo wajifunza mari. Shaka veti kakupi. Iyo mombe wa mai ya kambu bizguairi mari. Kupi kwa ya kambu bizguairi mari. Anza ani beta jivano. Ngo nipa mari ya ju. That's the prostitution. Our culture is not like that. I know our culture. Yes. Kana waka topo wa mombe wa mai ili mari zosu. Uri joki zosu. So, sir, I'm going to marry you. 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 I'm going to marry and not use a cultural argument to try and be polemic about the gospel. Let us embrace the gospel. The gospel doesn't challenge our culture. The gospel challenges idolatry. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. If there is idolatry in our culture, mm. we will have to abandon those idolatrous practices of our culture yes. so that we may not have a culture that entrenches us into disobeying God. Yes. We can't have we can't be at loggerheads with God mm -hmm. because of culture. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we will abandon those elements of our culture yes. that are on the loggerheads or that are at war with the gospel. Mm -hmm. But our culture is very fine. Yes. Those yes. elements which are not idolatrous, we have to go back to them. Yes. But those who do not like the gospel should never tell us that they know their culture. They know our culture. Yes. Our culture is good enough. We, we don't need the gospel. That's not true. Mm -hmm. Our culture has no knowledge of God. Yes. Because our culture assumes that once a person dies, he becomes holy. Mm. It is not just absurd. Mm -hmm. But it is bizarre. Mm -hmm. yeah. A man whom we all knew as very <laughs> a womanizer and not mm -hmm. a caring father yes. to his own children. Mm -hmm. We have to kneel down at his grave mm -hmm. to ask his spirit to come back to protect us. Mm -hmm. Where does he <laughs> learn to protect a family yes. when he never protected anyone? Mm -hmm. Since when does death become a cleansing ceremony mm -hmm. to one's soul? So let's come back to Second uh, Kings 17. Yes. I just wanted to show you that, yes, we look at the Samaritan woman and all this Samaria background mm -hmm. so that we can also discover the greatness of the work of a shepherd mm -hmm. to come down to the door drums of, 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 of vanity yes. and filthiness mm -hmm. to recover us yes. as he committed himself he said, other sheep I have, them I must bring. Mm -hmm. So he came to Samaria. He must need to go to mm -hmm. Samaria. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was going to pick this woman mm -hmm. at the bottom of mm -hmm. the pit of darkness mm -hmm. to bring her to God. Mm -hmm. yes. the, all this history mm -hmm. is there to show you where yes. Samaria originates from mm -hmm. and the spiritual status of this woman mm -hmm. when she conversed with our mm -hmm. Lord. Yes. This is why we did all this work. Today, yes. Unenge muri varanda vashau manesa, musacha zire kumsha, jita orodi tivan va Israeli, taka toro na shau manesa uku Assyria, taku gara kumidia. Muto na jita ora zeka ujanga, mopesra mafika madrese white, jita mjato. I don't know Queen Vuvwa, vuvwa. Mm. Na shau manesa. Yes. Pesi na wana kutawura churungu. Uchitawura uturugu defender kaucha. Ne churungu. Chivara. Chiri mm. chivana, we are Africans. Mm -hmm. Kamo vunza kuti. Kuti <laughs> kuti kuti. Arazi, mm -hmm. arazi. Ukamu vunza yezo shukuti wezi na kuti African. Dere kwa Afrika yere. I don't know. I'm African yere. I got to dream of African. Karati marungu. I got to dream of African. Anyway. Verse 7. Yes. For so it was that the children of Israel had sinned against the Lord their God. Of course. Mm -hmm. This exilic situation was yes. caused by sin. Mm -hmm. Yes. Everyone who is in sin is in exile. Yes. Yes. Which had brought them up out of the land of Egypt. Yes. From under the land under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he had feared other gods. Oh, well, and, walked, and walked in the statues of the heathen, whom the Lord cast out be from before the children of Israel, and of the kings of Israel, which they made they had made nine and the children of israel did secretly those, those things, things which, that were not right against the lord their god 
Yes. And, and they build them high places in all their cities. Yes. From the tower of the watchmen to the fence the city. Mm -hmm. Secretly they yes. continued to do abominations. Yes. Mm -hmm. So don't think that if you are doing abominations in secret you are fine. Yes. And they set them up images and grooves in every high high hill and, and under every green tree. Yes. They started doing Christmas trees. <laughs> <laughs> And, and they set them up images and grooves in high place in a, in every hill and under every green tree. Yes. And there they burnt incense in all the high places, as did the heathen, whom yes. the Lord carried away before them, and wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger. Yes. You see what happened? Mm -hmm. So this time Oshia is in jail. Shalmaneser is doing the cat can do whatever it does because the red is in jail. Mm -hmm. Yes. As you can see in verse 11, mm -hmm. the bone of contention between Israel and God is that they are doing what the heathen do. do. That is the problem. Mm -hmm. Yes. What, what uh, infidels do, those who walk and claim that they, they are children of God, mm -hmm. they are also following the character of the Gentiles the character of the heathen, mm -hmm. the character of those who know not God. Yes. Mm -hmm. For they saved idols, whereof the Lord had said unto them, you shall not do this thing. Yes. Yet yes, the Lord, the Lord testified against Israel mm -hmm. and against Judah by all the prophets and by all the seers, saying, turn ye from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes according to all the law which I commanded your fathers and to which I sent to you by my servants, the prophets. Yes. yes. Notwithstanding, they would not hear. Of but course, they would not hear. Yes. Like to the neck of their fathers. Yes. That did not. That did believe in the Lord. That their did God. not believe in the Lord their God. Yes. And they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he made with their fathers, mm -hmm. and his testimonies which he testified against them, and they followed vanity, and became vain. And went after the heathen that were round about them, concerning whom the Lord had charged them that they should not do like them. Yes. And they left all the commandments of the Lord their God, and made the molten, molten images, even two cows, and made a groove, <laughs> and worshipped all the host of heaven, and saved the bow. Even in those and they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire, and used divination mm. and enchantments and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. Yes. Verse number 18, Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel and removed them out of his sight. Mm -hmm. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wonderful scriptures. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So God preserved Judah, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. he took out all Israel to yes. Assyria. Yes. You see how dangerous this captivity was. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go and compare Second Kings 17, verse 17 to 19, with Second Kings 23, 24, mm -hmm. you are going to see that even when uh, Nebuzaradan and Nebuchadnezzar came to conquer and to besiege Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and they were taken captive to Babylon, mm -hmm. not all of them were taken. Yes. The poorest of the people were left in the yes. coasts, in the cities. Mm -hmm. But when Israel God went into exile, yes. everyone was taken. Mm -hmm. You see how God deals with these two kingdoms differently. Yes. Yes. He preserves Judah, mm -hmm. but he doesn't preserve Israel. Yes. Yes. All right. And, and Judah kept not the commandments of the Lord, their God, but walked in the statutes of Israel, which they made. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the Lord rejected mm -hmm. all the seed of Israel mm -hmm. and afflicted them and delivered them into the end of spoilers until he had cast them out of his sight. Mm -hmm. For he rent Israel from the house of David and they made Jeroboam the son of Nebat king and Jeroboam drove Israel from following the Lord and made them sin a great yes. sin. Yes, It goes back to Jeroboam, does yes. it? Yes, it yes. For the children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam, which he did. Mm -hmm. They departed not from them mm -hmm. until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight 
as he had said by all his servants, the prophets. So was Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria yes. unto this day. Mm -hmm. Brother Nelson, yes. you see now why we had to read chapter 17. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's exhaustive. Yes. And it's also all encompassing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everyone was carried to Assyria mm -hmm. until when, until the time of writing, yes. Yes. they were still in Assyria. Yes. Mm -hmm. They settled in Assyria. Yes. Some of them became village heads and headmen. Mm -hmm. Some became archbishops mm -hmm. and senior prophets. Yes. And they started marrying and getting married to the Assyrian pagans. Mm -hmm. And they got heavily infested yes. with the pagan blood yes. among them. Mm -hmm. That's why the Jews look down upon oh, the Samaritans. Yes. Yes. And so it right. was, read, read verse number 24, yes. And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon, and from Kuta, and from Ava, and from Hamath, and from... Read verse 24 again. And the king of Assyria... It's brought... not the king of Babylon. Yes. Mm. It's the king of Assyria. Yes. Yes. Shao Manesa. Yes. What did he do? He brought men from Babylon. He then collected people mm -hmm. from Babylon. Mm -hmm. And from Because Kuta. Babylon was also one of his territories. He had conquered Babylon as well. Yes. Yes. And from Kuta, and from Ava, and from Hamath, and from Sepavaim. Shepavaim, yes. Sepa, yes. And, and pronounced it as Shepavaim. And from they, he, Shepavaim. He brought men from Babylon. Yes. He is no longer taking men to Babylon. Mm -hmm. He is collecting men from pagan cities. Yes. <laughs> Babylon, Kuta, Ava, mm -hmm. Hamath, and Shepavaim, yes. And placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the children of Israel. <laughs> and they possessed Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof. Yes. So what we have now in Samaria? Yes. They are not Israelites. Israelites. Yes. They are Babylonians. So you see why it's complicated, pastors. Yes. We have to finish now. Mm. Yes. It's complicated. Yes. Mm. When you meet with a Samaritan, Samaritan, you don't know. Yes. Is he? <laughs> An Israelite who came back to Samaria mm -hmm. or is a Babylonian mm -hmm. who settled, settled in Samaria. Samaria. Yes. So later the Israelites came back to Samaria. Mm -hmm. They found Babylonians mm -hmm. living there. Mm -hmm. It is infested yes. with defiled blood. blood. Yes. Can you see that? Yes. But you can also see how strong mm -hmm. a and yes. Tiglat Bilesa mm -hmm. were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I collect a lot. Could have been a miracle. Even his agenda was to, to completely destroy, destroy Samaria. Samaria. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Even its identity. Its mm -hmm. identity yes. because if the land was left fallow mm -hmm. and uninhabited, yes. it was going to be easier for the Israelites yes. to, to come, come back, back home. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like we see, like in the book of Ezra, mm -hmm. where the Jews came, came back, back home. Mm -hmm. This time, mm -hmm. the Samaritans or the Israelites yeah. are not mm -hmm. coming, coming to an, a vacant land. No. Mm -hmm. They are coming to dwell with the Babylonians, mm -hmm. those from Kuta, from Ava, mm -hmm. from Ava, 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 and Shepavayim, yes. who are now settling in Samaria. Samaria. They were given land <laughs> by Shomanis. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Shomanis, uh -huh. I got him. Uh -huh. This is too much. Mm -hmm. It's a completely defiled. Uh, actually, I, you, you cannot tell if they are actually the Israel, the Israelites, or it's a completely. When you people. meet Samaritans, mm -hmm. you meet people of no origin or pure <laughs> origin or pure ancestry. Yes. Uningwa sanga na nevaniwa ni musanga niswa we ropa. Yes. Just to expand your understanding a little bit. Mm -hmm. Did not God destroy the purity of the 12 tribes? Which 12 tribes exactly are we talking about today? Yeah. Huh? There is no. There is Do we have 12 tribes? No. 
Vano vakupi ma 12 tribes. Proper, proper Jews with clean, 100%. pure, hundred percent Israeli blood. The, the studies, the scientific studies that have been done, mm-hmm. they say in the whole world mm-hmm. there are less than hundred thousand today. Mm-hmm. Pure Jewish, Jewish blood. There mm-hmm. are less than hundred thousand. The whole world. And defiled. Mm-hmm. And defiled. Mm-hmm. 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 Na mai wa sekuru wako wa Israel wese. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They are less than 100,000. Others even say they are less than 10,000. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it means that number is going to be dwindling and dwindling as we go. Mm-hmm. Yes, because they are, yes, there is no way yes. they can protect their purity. Yes. Some yeah, it's impossible. Muno or ku say cha go aka zwarirwa ku Assyria. Yes. That is why There is no need to really fuss about But, Israel yeah, being a holy nation. nation. There is nothing holy if you think about what I've just said to yes. you. Yes. But to also expand you a little bit further from what I've said now. Coming back, I think some of you have forgotten John chapter 4. <laughs> We have not. We are just introducing the Samaritan woman. Yes. We will not go as far as we have gone today. But I'm sure by now you understand why We had a crash landing on Sunday. Mm. Yes. And I told you there is no chance yes. we can address the scriptures I wanted to address yes. today on Sunday. Mm. Yes. When the Lord asked this woman, where is your husband? Mm. And the, man, the woman said, I have no husband. Mm-hmm. Do you remember what the Lord said? Yes. Uh, yes. The, the Lord said, thou hast well said, yes. I have no husband. Mm. Mm-hmm. For thou hast had five husbands, yes. and he whom thou now hast mm-hmm. is not thy husband. husband. In that sayest thou truly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> Think about 2 Kings 15 mm-hmm. and 2 Kings 17. Mm-hmm. And factor in these two chapters mm-hmm. into what the Lord said with this woman mm-hmm. in verse 17 and 18 of John 4. Mm-hmm. The woman is living with a man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the question is bring your husband. husband. Mm-hmm. The woman said I don't have a husband. Mm-hmm. The Lord said is it it's true? true. You have had five husbands. Wow. The one at it's home sense. is not your husband. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's no marriage to talk about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. You are a very filthy woman. Mm-hmm. Yes. If, if you considered it now. Mm-hmm. The Lord was not addressing the personal life of this woman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Lord was summarizing mm-hmm. what yes. I've spent more than four hours now. Yes. About Samaria. Ah. Yes. 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 Apana chaka nanga. Apana. Imagine kuti munhu ane murume kumba asa ari kufamba achitandi na murume. Mm-hmm. Why did the woman say I have no husband Apana. when she has a they man at home? home? Have you understood it now? Yes. Mm-hmm. Number one, there was no proper marriage between this woman and the man. Mm-hmm. Number two, the man with whom this woman lived mm-hmm. was not an Israelite. Mm-hmm. Yes. He doesn't qualify to be called and is a man a husband oh, mm-hmm. according to the standards of the law. Unororo wane mwe munhu kuti ukazobvunzwa so unotandi na murume. Yes. Iwo tumwa kunochera mvura. Ah. Oh by the law standard she was not a man a, pe- a people. By the standards of the law. Mm-hmm. Gentiles are no people. Mm-hmm. So if an Israelite marries a Gentile That man is not a husband. Mm. You are married to a no person. Mm. A zero apana munhu. Mazona. Mm. Yes. If you remember Deuteronomy 32. So 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 think about it. That there are this is this conversation between the Samaritan woman and the Lord. Bring your husband. Where is your husband? I have no husband. You are telling the truth because you have had five husbands. 
but the one you stay with is not a, a, your husband. This is true. How can it be true if I'm staying with a man? The truth is, the man she was staying with is not an Israelite. <laughs> By the standards of the law, yes. she is not married. Mm -hmm. Go and read Deuteronomy 7, 1 to 9, like I said, you understand? A daughter of Israel cannot marry a pagan. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. is an abomination. Mm -hmm. Now, when Adam was called by God, where are you? Mm -hmm. He said, I heard your voice and I hid because I was naked mm -hmm. in Genesis chapter 3. Yes. But the Bible says, they had sued aprons from fig leaves and mm -hmm. covered their shame. Mm -hmm. The man who is covering himself with an apron of fig leaves is telling God that he is naked. Mm -hmm. Why can't he talk about the apron mm -hmm. of fig leaves? Adam knows this apron can be closed to some people, mm -hmm. but not before God. Mm -hmm. Before God, I'm still naked. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am not supposed to be wearing this. This is not a proper form of clothing. Mm -hmm. That's why when the man faced the Lord, the woman faced the Lord, when she talked to the Lord, she said, I have no husband. By your standard, I am not married. Mm -hmm. How many today think they are going to church? Mm -hmm. The day the Lord is going to appear, they are going to tell him, we have never been to church. Vangani, mm -hmm. Bajati start singa na mate. Bango mutari zasu. Bajata nga kuna kuti. Ah, pana jeji ya tae pita. Akati kuti. Akati kuti ita hati singa na mate. Isu ti suvaya vya kusana mata. You are going to realize what you are calling jeji today. When the Lord comes, you are going to tell him, I never went to jeji, Lord. There is nothing to talk about. Oh, where is your pastor? I have no pastor. To talk about. Ah, nikawe na magaere na ishe. Nika ite, leo tindiwe na oru ta. Ne, ne lipstick, indi shit, indi ne munu wamuwa. Madi kuchirega e, juku nisa su munu wamuwa. Apana jejipa, isi ya weku bawa. Tika boye kana, tode za shedu, panyori za mimanzie nyika, toporonga shedu, tiri mbiuti, nyimo. Pa miripashi panga paine bawa, tika penza jeji, to pina mbawa. To sosika kumba kuma teni. And in Amurume, she was telling the truth mm -hmm. because the one she lived with was not a husband by the standards of the law. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this woman and the law of Moses are not good friends. She doesn't talk about the law at all. Mm -hmm. She talked about the mountain. Yes. yes. Verse 24 says, And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon, and from Kutha, and from Ava, and from Hamath, and from Shepavim, mm -hmm. and he placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the children of Israel. Yes. And they possessed Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof. Yes. So if you look at it, these cities, these cities, they are supposed to be inhabited by Israelites. But if you go into Samaria, you are going to find Babylonians there. Mm -hmm. yes. That's what we have in church today. Mm -hmm. Those who argue and pride that they fill churches with people. Mm -hmm. If you look at the character and the caliber of people in church today, mm -hmm. you can see that these are not Israelites. Yes. These are Babylonians. Mm -hmm. These are from Hamad. Mm -hmm. These are from Kutha, from Shepavai. Mm -hmm. Even the way they dance, they dance like they are in a beer. Mm. They dance like they are, they are trying to seduce men to hire them for sexual favors. Mm. What kind of a dance is this in the house of God? How can you buy the men of God's necktie at an auction in the church? What kind of an Israelite are you? Mm. You are a man from Babylon. You were brought to Israel, to Samaria, mm -hmm. by Shaul Manessa. Yes. Verse number 25. Let's finish. And so it was at the beginning of their dwelling there yes. that they feared not the Lord. Therefore the Lord sent lions among them. 
which slew some of them. God sent lions to kill people in Samaria. Shumba chaizo. Taka bopi dozi katsenga. Maragu. Buka yes. Wherefore, they spake to the king of Assyria, saying, The nations which thou hast removed and placed in the cities of Samaria know not the manner of the God mm -hmm. of the land. Therefore, he hath sent lions among them, and behold, they slay them, because they know not the manner of the God of the land. Mm -hmm. Then the king of Assyria commanded, saying, Carry thee the one, one of the priests whom you, you brought forth, if, if, whom you brought from hence, and let them go and dwell there, and let the, him teach them the men of the God of the land. Then so, one, yes. when lions killed these Babylonians yes. from Hamath, from Ava, from Kutha, from Shepava, yes. and they were killed, they reported to their boss. It's because we don't know how to worship the God of Samaria. Mm -hmm. So, Shao Manessa said, well, Bring back a priest from among the Israelites <laughs> that he may teach you to worship <laughs> God. They are forgetting that they are in Assyria because they are not fearing God. Yes. <laughs> yes. Then one of the priests whom they had carried away from Samaria came and dwelt in, in so Bethel. So they brought Beth back a priest, yes. a Levite from Assyria yes. to come and train Babylonians in Samaria how to worship God of heaven. Yes. Yes. And it dwelt in Bethel and taught them how they should fear the Lord. Did it work? <laughs> how bad every nation made gods of their own and yes. put them in the houses of the high places which the Samaritans had made. Every the the Samaritans the had left their own high places. Yes. These nations which were brought by Shao Manessa, mm. they never listened to this priest. Yes. They continued. Yes. With their idols, yes. Every nation in their cities wherein they dwelt. Yes. And the men of Babylon made Sukkoth. The North. Babylonians made a god called Sukkoth Benoth. And now <laughs> we have a temple of Sukkoth Benoth. Yes. In Samaria. Yes. He used to be in Babylon. Mm. But because Babylon is now in Samaria, yes. Sukkoth Benoth <laughs> is now in Samaria. Yes. yes. And the men of Kuth made Negal. Negal is now in Samaria. The men of Kuth worship Negal. And the men of Hamath made Ashima. Ashima is now in Israel. The <laughs> men of Hamath love Ashima, yes. yes. And the Avites made Nabas, Nibas and Tatak. The Avites made two temples for two gods. Yes. Nibas and Tatak. And the Shepavites bent their children in fire mm. to Adranamelech. Adramelek. Uh, to Adramelech and Adranamelech <laughs> and Anamelech <laughs> because of the Sephavims. These scriptures, you are drunk. <laughs> no, <laughs> the talks get at you. <laughs> no, let me read first that one again. Yes. And the Avites made Nibas and Tatak. Yes. And the Shepavites bent their children to, in fire to Adranamelech. To Adramelek, yes, and Anamelek, the gods of the Shepavims. So, how so many gods we now have in Samaria? Mm. Yeah, I mean, huh? every, every, we every. have Sukkot, Benoth, mm. we have Negal, <laughs> we have Ashima, mm. we have Nibas and Tatak, mm. we have Adramelek and Anamelek. Yes, this time they are burning their children mm. to Adramelek mm. and yes. Anamelek. These are new churches, church buildings, mm. mountain of fire ministries. <laughs> Kuponda Namo Ministries. Abaku. Bethsaida Apostolic Church. These are now Babylonians mm. living in, in Samaria. Samaria. Just think about it. When they came back from Assyria, mm. how did they deal with all these temples and mm. idols? Mm. Yes. Yes. So they feared the Lord and made unto themselves of the lowest of them priests of the high places, which sacrificed for them in their in the houses of their high places. They feared the Lord and saved their own gods. What kind of scriptures <laughs> are these? How can you fear God and worship idols? Uh, you see. It's, so it's mm. if if you if you are going to read your Bible, mm. child of God, yes, I can tell you you are never going to find the scriptures. Like 2 Kings chapter 
17, yes. verse 32. Yes, that's true. And other Very scriptures true. like it, like verse 33. Mm. Where people fear God by worshipping yes. idols. Yes. <laughs> it means pagans do not know how to fear yes. God. Yes. They tell themselves, they if we worship our idol, this is fearing God. Mm-hmm. This is why the Lord said, you know not what to <laughs> Yes. yes. So the, according to verse thirty-three, they feared yes. the Lord and, and saved, saved their, their own gods. gods. Yes. yes. How, how After the men of the nations, were they will, carried they will away. tell you we love Jesus, mm. but they will be praying to plastic called rosary. Mm. Those are the avites for you. Yes. Mm. And to this day, they do after the former menace. Yes. They fear not the Lord, mm. neither do they after their statutes or after their ordinances, or after the law and commandment which the Lord God, the Lord commanded the children of Jacob, whom he named Israel, Mm -hmm. with whom the Lord had made a covenant and charged them, saying, We shall not fear other gods, nor bow yourselves to them, nor serve them, nor sacrifice to them. But the Lord who brought you up out of the land of Egypt with great power and a staged out arm, him shall you fear, and him shall you worship. Yes. And to him shall you do sacrifice. And the statutes and the ordinances and the law and the commandment which he wrote for you, we shall observe to do forevermore, and you shall not fear other gods. And the covenant that I have made with you, you shall not forget, neither shall you fear other gods. But the Lord your God you shall fear, and he shall deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies. How bait they did not hearken but they did after their former manner. So these nations feared the Lord and saved their graven images, Mm. both their children and their children's children, as did their fathers. So do they unto this day. Mm -hmm. So we end here our reading of scripture. We have been very uh, enduring for more than four hours now. We read the whole chapter, chapter 15 and chapter 17. Mm. We could not hold on and defer this message to another day. When we now go back into 22C mm-hmm. to now talk in detail about the person now, the woman of Samaria, mm-hmm. you are now going to have proper knowledge, proper guidance on who is the Samaritan woman, what does she represent, what is the history and the background to the establishment of what are called Samaritans. They practice a religion called Samaritanism. Mm -hmm. Before we go, let me remind you that in the process of time, the Samaritans actually built a temple on the foot of Mount, um, Mount, Mount, not Ebal, not Ebal, uh, Mount Gerizim. They built a temple which then was, uh, which was then, then destroyed. Now that temple is no longer there. But if you go right now on to Mount Gerizim today, mm-hmm. there is ruins, archaeological ruins of the temple in Mount Gerizim. That temple was never built according to the instructions of God, but it was their attempt to try and separate and find something they could say, we also worship God. There is actually a religion called Samaritanism. Mm. Samaritanism, it claims to follow only the law of Moses. They don't like the books of the prophets. Mm. They don't want to follow the books of the prophets. They oh. just like the 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 the, 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 the ten the five books of the law, the ten commandments, and other associate judgments and commandments and laws and statutes contained in Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. So this Samaritan woman is actually a member of Samaritanism church or religion. Um, As you can see, 
whoever led these efforts to worship God in Mount Gerizim. It was a matter of the choice of the Samaritans. It was the choice of the Samaritans. It was never something that God ordained to happen. If you look at the scriptures, we have the 66 books. There is not one book written by a Samaritan. Hmm. There is no prophecy given by God regarding, number one, God's intention to establish a covenant in Mount Gerizim. Number two, the building of the temple in Mount Gerizim. Number three, the usage of Samaritans in the service of God. God did not do that. The New Testament church is the only hope these Samaritans have where their lineage and their bloodline is not going to be put under scrutiny. Because when they become children of God, these Israelites of defiled blood, they are going to carry a more pure blood than the blood of Jacob, mm -hmm. the blood of Christ. Now, when you look at scriptures like we read um, Acts chapter 1 verse 8, you shall receive power after that the Spirit of God is come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. We, if you are not careful, you will not ask, the relevance of the word both in Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Mm -hmm. There are seemingly four groups of people there mm -hmm. or places. Mm -hmm. You shall witness me, Jerusalem, mm -hmm. in Judea, mm -hmm. in Samaria, mm -hmm. and in the uttermost part of the earth. Mm -hmm. The word both means two. Mm -hmm. How come the Lord mentioned four places mm -hmm. and he used the word both? The answer is Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria addresses the children of Israel. Yes. The uttermost part of the earth addresses the Gentiles. So the word both is addressing the people and the Gentiles, according to Apostle Paul's language in Acts 26, 22 to 24. Mm -hmm. But the word both also addresses the first group of people, Jerusalem, and Judea, it addresses the Jews. Mm -hmm. Samaria addresses the rest of Israel. There is a connotation there that wants to single out Jews from the ten tribes. The reason is that the Israelites are of a defiled blood. Mm -hmm. So when the Lord said, if you preach in Jerusalem, in Judea, and in Samaria, you must stop, you mustn't stop, go beyond the, region, the regions of Israel. Go to the uttermost parts of the earth. Go to Syria, go to Babylon, go to, to, to Egypt, go to the uttermost parts of the earth. The other reason why the Lord did that, it is because some of the children of Israel did not come back until today to Israel. So as the gospel goes to Syria, it is not a, a, a focusing and targeting only the pagans. It also addresses and targets Israelites who are exiled to this day. According to the language in 2 Kings 17 in Syria. So when you look at scriptures like Acts 17, Acts 13 and other scriptures, you hear that Apostle Paul came to Thessalonica and then he was in the synagogue of the Jews. Thessalonica is a Gentile territory. What are the Jews doing in Thessalonica? Why is the synagogue of the Jews in Thessalonica? And why does Paul spend three Sabbath days in Thessalonica first before he meets the Gentiles? The answer is the same. Wherever he went, he always targeted the Israelites first mm -hmm. because Paul was still hoping that if he meets Jews outside Israel, they were going to give heed to the word of God. So, 
In conclusion, the Lord allowed the defilement of the ten tribes so that Romans chapter 11 mm -hmm. could find a place in our understanding. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. For I speak to you Gentiles in as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, yes. I magnify mine office. 14. Yes. If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are... To jealousy. Who? Them which are my flesh mm -hmm. and might save some of them. He always desired to save some of them. Yes. Yes. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the de from death? From the casting the dead? away of the ten tribes. Mm -hmm caused the reconciling of the world. Yes. So this idea that God saves the Gentiles because the Jews have rejected the gospel, it is there in the drama mm -hmm. which we spend more than an hour now looking at in chapter 15 and chapter 17 on Second Kings. Yes. Think about it. Shalmanesa took the ten tribes out of Samaria, mm -hmm. went with them to Babylon, to Media, yes to Assyria. And then he brought Babylonians to Samaria, mm -hmm. some from Shepavim, some from Hamad, some from Ava. What was the plan of Shalmaneser? So God sent lions to eat them. Mm -hmm. They reported to Shalmaneser. Shalmaneser said, hey, send, I will send a priest from the Israelites. Mm -hmm. He will come and teach you how to worship God. Mm -hmm. That drama Failed because the pagans continued worshipping uh, 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 Sukkoth, Benoth, yes. Ashima, Nibaz, yeah. and Tatak, Adramelech, Anamelech. Because in the days of Shaumanesa, our Lord did not come to die and to rise from the dead and open a New Testament which accommodates Gentiles. It was a drama. Mm -hmm. So he took out Israelites, went with them to his pagan territories. He brought pagans to Israel. Why did he do that? Because of Romans 11. Mm -hmm. The casting away of Israel, Israel. The reconciling of yes. gives an opportunity mm -hmm. for the yes. Gentiles to be born again. Mm -hmm. The bringing of Babylonians in Samaria, Samaria. was a prophetic movement. I will bring Gentiles into my New Testament. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After casting away ten tribes, he brought Gentiles. Mm -hmm. What is scripture? Uh, yes. yeah. Verse number 16. Hey. For if the first fruit be holy, yes. the, lamp, oh, the lamp is also holy. Yes. And if the root be holy, yes. so are the branches. 17. And if some of the branches be broken some off. Some of the branches of Israel were broken off. And thou being a wild and olive tree. And us being a wild olive tree. Mm. We grafted in We in were grafted them. into the olive tree. And with them partakest of the root. Of course we now partake of the root. And fatness of the olive tree. Verse 25. If I, if for I would not, brethren, yes. that you should be ignorant of this mystery. We should never be ignorant. It's a mystery. Lest you should be wise in your own conscience. should consents. never think that we understand better than the Israelites. That blindness is in part it, that blindness in part is happened to Israel. The ten the tribes were blinded Gentiles. until the fullness of the Gentiles become, become in. in yes. Look at the nations which came to dwell in Samaria mm -hmm. after the Israelites were replaced. Yes. Babylonians, some from Hamath, yes. some from Ava. You see, mm. yes. Shepavim, mm. God blinded the ten tribes until mm. the fullness mm. of the Gentiles mm. are come in. Yes. Verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. Yes. As it is written, they shall come out of Zion, the deliverer, and shall, shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. So if you look at verse 26, it's not addressing only the tribe of Judah. Yes. It's addressing the, all the 12 tribes. Mm. When God is satisfied with the salvation of the Gentiles, mm. he shall reach out to the tribes of Israel. Yes. It doesn't matter how defiled their blood is. Mm. 
God is not going to talk, to talk about the blood of Jacob. Yes. He shall give them his own blood to purify them. Yes. Mashona pastor. Yes. Kuti vaka buri tswa mu Israel. Vaka endeswa ku Assyria. Iye shawo manesa kwa ku dzava Eden ku garamza Maria. Ndova vatadza kuna matamu ngari wa Israel. Ndokuimpota mpresida ku Assyria. Because not this Doma zvangu zvadaka edza kudza Maria. Mababelonenza hana kana idea kuti zvinoita kwa sei. So God is going to send a preacher mm -hmm. to train the Gentiles how to worship God. Yes. And this time, unlike what happened in chapter 17, mm -hmm. they are going to abandon their idols to worship the true God. Oh, yes. Because the time of salvation is now. Mm -hmm. It had not come in the days of Shaul Manessa. Yes. And Shaul Manessa cannot save Gentiles. He is a Gentile himself mm -hmm. who needs salvation. As a king who was becoming more powerful, God used him yes. to draw a pattern mm -hmm. of the things which should happen after. Yes. So this is Samaria for you. At this point, I am satisfied. I have taught you enough about Samaria. You are one of the few people on earth yes. who knows enough about Samaria. <laughs> the detail I have given you, people pay huge sums of money in colleges they come back with a not with less than a quarter of what I've said to you yes. concerning summary. Mm. May the Lord bless the preaching of his word. I thank God for giving us such a strength to endure all these long hours learning the word of God. Today you've learned a lot. Yes. I hope you've endured to this hour with us. I know we have taken an extraordinary length of time because these messages, we cannot break them over and over again. Some of these things are better understood if they are taught like this. I, I discontinued this message on Sunday mm -hmm. because I knew that yes. there are details like this, mm -hmm. this service that I wanted to share with you. Mm -hmm. I promised you what we have said, we had said on Sunday about Mount Gerizim was not proper knowledge about the origin of Samaria. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have seen the attestation of this sermon to what I said on Sunday. I hope you are strong. I hope your fuses are still up. I hope your spirit has been revived. Mm -hmm. I hope you have been edified. I hope you have gotten better knowledge about the gospel because of this message. See you next time.